Welcome back. Where we last left our heroes, they had completed most of the first half of the race, almost reaching the relay point. But upon making it through a number of obstacles, including a tumultuous starting line, a field that seemed to be the home to a large nest of purple worms, and an ancient canyon wyvern, which Einar... Sucked. <laughs> Don't say it like that. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. You're not, but... I know. He's a... <laughs> <laughs> no, his tattoo said... <laughs> which Einar seemed to... Don't say enjoy. <laughs> Absorb. You are about to take second damage. <laughs> Oh, there, here comes the dice. Dang it. Another three. There we go. Logging it. Session two. <laughs> Man, you're racking them up. <laughs> An ancient canyon wyvern, which Einar seemed to absorb into himself through the use of the Shadow King's power. With the revelation that not only did this occur, but everyone watching the race would have witnessed it as well. That is where we t- return tonight. Oops! Oops! <laughs> Freaking oops! Yeah! Riss doesn't even see him. Riss would just. Bray is pissed off right now! Welcome back to Arklands. So, we return. You're all watching as Einar comes back to himself, awakening once more. What do you do? Einar? Do you have any idea what just happened? Uh, you hear this what happened? That's what, yeah, I'm like, Where's how's it going the back Where's the cavern there? wyvern? Canyon Wyvern, that's what it's called. Uh, cause Einar doesn't know what happened. Where's right? the damn Wyvern? You have, you have no recollection, but you are also not, it was not jarring really? to have, to have that, uh, gap in your memory. It almost feels. Riss, hearing this, stops and turns around, looks back for the Wyvern and does not see it. Because he knows what happens to the Cyclops. Yep. Yep. Oh yeah, that's right. You do. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> we all. Well, well, you. Ray was not there for the Cyclops. Um, Correct. Which is why Ray's like the hell. <laughs> what? And I think what? I kind of noticed it. Like he's looking back and thinking something. So I'm like, what's happening? Are they okay? The one moments are. And get, can you? Telepathically with individual people, or is it like all open channel? I do not know. Let me double check. <laughs> is it like, That's the best is way it to like, describe it. Is it like a text chat group? No, 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 or are we it. just... Uh, <laughs> can you message people individually? Like, I have a magical cell phone. Can I me- yeah, message people individually, or is it all... No private messaging. <clears throat> it's not allowed on my good Christian server. <laughs> my good Christian <laughs> telepathic server, sir. <laughs> 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 Your good Christian telepathic bond. <laughs> Dang it. Sorry, I can't send news anymore. <laughs> Do what now? <laughs> um, given the wording of the spell, I'm gonna say that is an open channel. Okay. 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 Riss kind of looks as well as he can because he's probably like 120 feet away at this point. At Do you come to a stop? Yeah, no, I came to a stop and like turned around and saw the wire was gone. You're well, still invisible. <laughs> and I'm kind of like, yes. unless you've dropped concentration. He's not trying to make eye I, well, actually. Is it is greater restoration concentration or greater, greater invisibility? invisibility. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, greater invisibility. Wait, can I see you? Yes. Are you still invisible? I'm still invisible. You can see the spray of the sand as he's riding through it. Kind of I'm just kind of at, like uh, Einar. How are you feeling? Like I guess it's insight. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, make an insight check with disadvantage because you are two sixteen, so twenty two. I feel fine. In, All right. in terms of, do you want to tell Ray what happened? If you don't know what happened, what do you what? 
Stop being cryptic. Um, we have a race to finish. I was about to say, if everyone's fine, we need to get Macarena going. <laughs> with Macarena goes. All right. So, you putting this to the side for the moment. Sidebar. The audience is going to be like, no, you need to talk about it now. I need to understand what's going on. And it's going to be fantastic. Um... <laughs> Um, Ray gives a very disapproving, but also concerned look to Einar. It's like it's like the uh, the mom the looking in the rear of your mirror, but you're just like onto the side. Like. <laughs> <laughs> it's the dad in the front seat when the kids do something stupid behind him, but he. Can't I will do pull this dune right buggy now. over. <laughs> I will pull this dune buggy over and if I'm you don't stop it. I will turn us around and we will go home. That's right. And see, I'm giving you all the mom glare like, we need to move. Hence the reason for my statement. Yeah, I would but like don't to cast... we have to fix our buggy? Oh, Mending. true. Uh, so that is uh, that is an interesting point. Yes. Uh, mending cast, takes a minute to cast yes, it does. and repairs a single break. Golly. In something. Okay. You're going to have to repair like 60. <laughs> Good luck. I'm turning, <laughs> this, I'm turning this into a uh, convertible, okay? <laughs> I need it to run. Your half cover. That, that's, not how that, that's not how that works, cover. but okay. Um, I, I, um, I understand the... Because you did say thieves' tools could work. Could work for repairing mishaps. Thieves' work, thieves tools and tinker's tools can both be used to try and repair, like, if the engine blows or something like that. Um, this is a bit different. This is a acid spray that just totaled it. Um, it, salvageable, especially with your training and especially if Zara helps, but it's going to take a minute. Oh, Miss Mechanic. Yeah. (laughs) Um, mm, because I'm like, we need to keep, I need to keep going. (laughs) Listen, your best chance. I I still think that she should continue. Interesting theory. I disagree. You all need to get moving, otherwise... You just want me here with you. No, no question. <laughs> your chances of losing go up if you don't have us as cannon fodder. I, who's won the past four races on their own? Who's, who's already been targeted like four times? And has been fine. Thank you very much. Mm. Okay, this crosstalk in the telepathic communication link needs to stop right now. <laughs> between the two of you. Do it. Don't make me come up there. Do it. I'd like to see you try in the state you guys are in right now. How far away is she? A couple hundred feet. I can get to you. Don't test me. (laughs) Okay. So. So, I'm just glaring at them through my eagle eyes. (laughs) Potion of healing. Okay. Considering. (laughs) Considering. Considering. We have the enhanced residuum. Is there a way to implement the Potion of Healing's effect to get the vehicle into a functioning state? Not necessarily tip-top shape, but so that it goes forward at its normal speed, potentially pouring it into the engine (laughs) with the rest of the the residual. Um. Because it's a single effect. Yes, but that's for motorcycles. You all have multiple people in there. It's still the vehicle itself. Well, no, the, I'm, I was saying that effect was only for the motorcycles. The devil's rides. Well, mm, it, that, that is when a single thing... Uh, I, I'm going to say no, because that's a very specific thing. Uh, there are possibly other things you could do. Like casting mending at a higher level? Not really. The issue here is that it completely eroded a majority of the vehicle. Because what are we doing? Are we splitting up, or am I? Because I'm in the middle right now, literally 120 feet in between, like dead center between you all and Zara, who's I assume is still I mean, going. Who I guess like she's trying to look ahead and look behind to see if like who's within range. Sure. Um, Advantage. Oh yes. Um, 17. 17. It's interesting. You would expect to see someone by now. Especially given the different vehicles you saw approaching. At least one of them, assuming at least one of them survived, should be approaching. For some reason, no one is yet. 
Then here's what I recommend. Zara, if you can get to the obelisk, get to the halfway point, and if you wait there for us, then we can regroup and continue on with the rest of the race. That at least gets us a pair of eyes up ahead so that we can prepare for the next stretch. Okay. Are, are you sure, though? Because I can come back and help you mend if that would be a better use of our time. <laughs> Especially since there isn't anyone in sight yet. I could always take off. Can I estimate how long it would take for the two of us to fix it versus how long one of us would? Let me... Well... It will take half the time with two of you. How long would it take for just me to do it? Um, let's see. If I'm going to use the same thing as using for the Steel Defender, because they is using that, Mending can repair... Um, let me double check. 2d6, but I'm going to say that for because it is totaled, you're going to have to restore it to max hit points before it is usable again. So 2d6 in, uh, for how long does it take? One minute? Yeah. Just one minute to cast? Yeah. So it could potentially be, though, like, how many hit points does your car? 60. That's it. So if the two of them do it, the we could get it done in 5, 10 minutes. Five, like 10, 15. Instead of, yeah, 15 minutes. I, is, didn't, I didn't know it would be that fast. Okay. Yeah. Then I guess... The yeah, yeah. And is there anything, just to make sure, Trey, is there anything that Risk. I can do with my, I guess, having more knowledge of it? To have That's the only thing? reason that this would work. Okay, I just want to make sure. Is that you have... Uh, you, because the two of you have training as artificers is the only reason that it would work this way at all. Artificers. Nice. <laughs> Riss. Um, so I guess I kind of go ahead. I whip go ahead. around. No, no, it's better if we stay together. The best one of not being discovered is myself. I'm so like, I'm fine with that. Whatever you want. I'm like, I have no help here except to be a lookout. I'm like, I was about right. to say, stay put, keep lookout. <laughs> and I'm off. Okay. Oh, you're Ready. leaving. Oh, okay. I'm going back. She's coming back over here to fix I'm the buggy. I'm sorry. Will you be okay without Where me? Where are you going? <laughs> I thought Zara. This is versus. I thought you were going oh, back. Have you been listening at all? I have not. <laughs> oh, that's not, here not something that he honest. does very well. I'm, but I'm, I can see Zara, that. <laughs> please come over here. Ah. Uh, uh, Ray. Yes. It is at this moment that you hear a voice. Saravina. Ooh. I notice you've had a bit of a tumble, to say the least. <laughs> Here's your brand Count new card! <laughs> <laughs> you get a card! You get a card! Sorry, I think I peeked there. No, yes. that's alright. We all did. <laughs> Briss will then turn and head towards the halfway point. Okay, you're gonna drive ahead? Cool, good to know. Um... If you'd like, I believe I could help. I turn around, I, uh, wherever the camera is. You don't, it's, there is no... The amulet on your chest. Oh, it is? is the amulet on your chest keeps one of the mirrors focused on you. Okay. So can I guess where it's looking at me? And I go... I give a good it's thumbs a, up. It was sending. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you can respond. Oh, I can't respond? You can respond yeah. with yeah. sending. That. Yes, that's the whole point of sending. <laughs> <laughs> you send both ways. That would be greatly appreciated. You you are gone, but Zara, you you're you're there with them, and so you see as essentially maybe fifty feet to the right, which judging from the angles you saw before would be just off screen. Uh you see a portal open. And a uh, and a man stepped through a an elf, um, green robes, uh, and in his hand he is holding a few crystals. And he okay. is going to shatter one in his hands, and you see this magic just these um, small blue wisps trail down his arm and into his eyes as he casts Sea Invisibility. And he appears to be making note of where the uh, cameras essentially are. Mm -hmm. uh, it being something akin to the Clairvoyance spell, which creates a, or Scrying, which creates an invisible sensor. Gotcha. Um, yeah, it's a, it's... And so, yeah. He's then going to spend ten minutes. Um, and he's just going to go... He's going to raise a finger and to tell you to be quiet. Mm -hmm. 
and he's going to take another crystal. This one is a little bit bigger, um, and it's a kind of tan coloration. And he starts beginning to uh, cast a ritual, and over the next ten minutes, he casts uh, Fabricate. Uh, you convert raw materials into products of the same material. For example, you can fabricate a wooden bridge from a clump of trees, a rope from a patch of hemp, or clothes from flax or wool. The parts of a vehicle are the raw materials of a vehicle. Yeah. So it's going to be a little bit less sturdy, but he's making the metal reform. Wow, okay. And would I have made it back by this part, or would I have oh, seen it and then stopped? You, okay. you, you, this would happen after you have already come back. And so you kind of just watch as he casts this, and I assume the two of you, to keep up appearances, <laughs> would have been... Working on the vehicle to make it assume like we're the ones... Who exactly. But I'm thinking Einar's over in the corner on, playing... Einar's over in the corner playing rock, paper, scissors with Makoto. Yeah. <laughs> Pass the time. <laughs> It's a three-way one because uh, Decaon is also there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. He uh, surprisingly didn't seem all that disturbed by what happened with the wyvern. Interesting. He's like, ah, it's just another Tuesday. <laughs> You're not sure. So, but the three of you are <laughs> just, you know. Uh, yeah, you also can't create items that ordinarily require a high degree of craftsmanship unless you're proficiency with the type of artisan tools used to craft such objects. As an artificer, Saravina is proficient with Tinker's tools, so he can do this. Nice. Um, so he, can he fabricate more enhanced residual? No. Fabricate uh, doesn't create things. It turns one thing into another. Oh, okay. You have to take the, up something of the raw materials, and then you can make something out of it. Okay, so it's just, it quickens the production process. Yes. Got it. It exactly. skips the production process and goes, I want you to be this. Exactly. Um, ten minutes pass, and he just gives a kind of a wry grin, um, brings out the sending stone once more. Oh, you're, you assume it's the same one, but he uh, kind of just speaks into it as a portal be appears behind him and just says, good luck. He walks, backward, walks backwards into it and... You hear Risco, you know, I'm really starting to like that guy as he keeps driving. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, you have no idea that this has happened. Well, I, I guess you, you guys could have communicated telepathically yeah, yeah. over the course. I assume one person said something, but yeah. I'm just kind of like, you guys have some interesting friends. <laughs> See, Sick We around. have a powerful benefactor. A patron. Never hurt several of those. A D and D sugar daddy, yes. Let's get moving. All right. About to say the same. I'm gonna say okay. For the sake of it, it is repaired, and due to the combination of mending and fabricate, it is not as bad as it could be. The armor class is now reduced to 19. Okay. And the total hit points is 50 instead of 60. Okay. But it, but it is otherwise fully functional. Okay. Sweet. So. Sorry, hop. Oh. We return with Riss, who for this 10 minutes has been driving ahead. Um, are you dashing at all, or are you just keeping pace? I'll probably just keep pace. I don't want to risk. I mean, no. Well, I guess because there's not a risk if I don't use it overly, right, for the dash. Yeah. So long as you only dash once, then take a break, then dash, then take a break. Following that pattern, I'll do that then. Okay, okay cool. Uh, within 10 minutes, then, you arrive, um, you kind of notice the land formation beginning to rise, and it becomes steeper and steeper. Still still definitely climbable, but you climb maybe 500 or more feet, uh, or, or a general in you know, incline, gradual, gradual incline. There it's a nice 20 degree incline, you know. <laughs> Like, yeah, between 20 and 30. And you finally reach the top. Do you slow down? <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, go ahead and make a vehicle check for me with dexterity. And you are proficient with it because you trained. So that's dexterity plus proficiency. My dexterity or its dexterity? Your dexterity. It's going to be 27. You're fine. <laughs> You kind of just skid to a top because you have maybe 10 feet once you reach the top before it is a steep 80 degree slope down 
into a large bowl-like um, structure. It doesn't appear to be man-made, but sitting maybe 300 feet down in the center is a 15-foot-tall black stone obelisk. The, the slope comes down on three out of the four sides, forming a circular, and you see a cave entrance on the opposite side. Is telepathic yeah. bond still up? Yep. Okay. Can I still Last for an hour. Them? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I found the obelisk. Much smaller than I thought you all described it as, but I found it. Okay. So that, when you said obelisk, I thought, because it's only 15 feet. Yeah. I thought it was like a couple hundred. I thought it was like. No. Be- that would not be an obelisk. <clears throat> Are there any sure. other it, racers I- nearby? Make a perception check. Where'd that monk at? 14. <laughs> <laughs> 14. Let me double check something. Um, you see a few dust clouds in the distance that could be racers or could be dust. You're not entirely sure, but you do see whatever they are, if it is racers, they are obviously moving in this direction. Um. Something's coming. Can't determine yet if it's racers or not. What would you like my course of action to be? Hide? Well, Hide. Hide in an, uh, And stay okay. alert. Wasn't there some sort of... And I will say, as a ranger, you can make a survival check to see if anyone has already been through. That, that, that was my next question. That was, yeah. <laughs> Nine. Nine? You're not sure. Sand, easy to move uh, around. So, what do you do? There's also not really anywhere to hide. I literally was about to ask. I was like, there probably isn't, except for the damn cave. Um... The cave also, from what Decaon said, uh, is the exit. Because you come up, you go down, and then through, and that's how you have to leave. Do we have to mark the obelisk or something? Or is it just a marker? Sulan mentioned that you might have an interest in it. What does the obelisk remind you of? If you described it the way that you did, this is a dark black obelisk. Uh, I will say it does not bear a particular resemblance to the statues of the Shadow King. It, it, there's no... It, yeah, they're both black stone, but this is almost a marbled black, um, as opposed to the pitch black that the statues were. Okay. <clears throat> does Thankfully. it seem like it's giving off any sort of aura? You can make an arcana check if you like. I can't get you for another 10 minutes. You have to do all the uh, the work here, bud. Yeah, I know. 14. Not bad. 14. There's definitely something weird about it. Not something you can just immediately put your finger on, but... But if I got up close to it. Would you like to? You gonna drive you down? think that out loud. Yes. No. <laughs> do not go near that thing. I have to go with bad to get to the cave yes. anyways. The cave is the best spot to hide. The issue and is, I'm not getting jumped by a dragon. Don't go, well, don't go near it. Steer away from it if possible, because okay. we don't describe know. for me this bowl. Does it all just lead right to the obelisk, or is there like a? There's like a. Or is there ground around? There's it? like a 50 foot radius area around the obelisk gotcha. where it all comes down. I mean, is he is he still invisible? Are you still invisible? No, it's uh, no, it's gone. So I assume it's. I think it lasts what? Yeah. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Yeah. 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 Okay. He kind of revs the engine and goes, this will be fun, and goes down into the cave. Okay, wow. you go down? Okay, so... Um, oh, here we go. What are you doing? <laughs> you need to make... Yeah. You, you have to have the vehicle make a dexterity saving throw. All right, and this is not the juke, right? This is Juke is something that you can do as a reaction to give your vehicle advantage. So, Ugh. <laughs> so you can... Fortune's favor, ha! Well, you, again, you, you can juke to give it advantage oh, okay. on the dexterity saving throw. Oh, oh much better. <laughs> 23. That's <laughs> a nat one. The first yeah. one? I would have been tumbling. Okay. Which would have been hilarious. We would have heard. Oh, I, it, it, but, oh. <laughs> I'm like, you don't need to. <laughs> All right, make a second one. A second one? Yep. Same thing? Yep. Good gracious sakes alive. Whew. 21. It was a nat 1 and then a 21. Jeez, I hate man. this. Shit, any crickets, dude. All yeah. right, last one. You are driving 300 feet. 
down a sh almost sheer slope. Natural Beautiful. 20. So. And a 7, okay. You. Good lord, that was a Go terrible. over the edge and almost immediately start, like, you feel the back wheel leave the ground as if you're about to just start tumbling end over end. But you are able to kind of just wrench it and get it down so that you're actually going down at a slight angle and you kind of bob and weave down. Uh, you have another close call about halfway down where it's just this and, and you you almost start rolling over and you kind of just correct and go a little bit so you're going straight down and you make it to the bottom and skid to a stop and just <sighs> take a breath because you came mere inches from a very, very hard crash. Yeah, Zara, like, if, you, if we win this, can I keep this? <laughs> if you pay me enough. Mm. Oof, I do have a lot of gold. No, we don't. No, and we also, don't. make sure you don't wreck no. it first. <laughs> he does not say how close he was to wrecking it. <laughs> you forget. But you forget. We are 50k in debt. You're a 50k in debt. Yeah, yes, you're a 50K I'm. In debt. Okay, you so, too, when, so when we gain money, it's our money, but when you take out a loan in my name, it's my money? Yes, when Ray does it. <laughs> That's how this works. Screw you. Um, <laughs> That's worse than my student loans. <laughs> Gosh. Riss will. It is my student loans. Because he can't see the vehicles now because he's now he's in the. Yep, you are. Obelisk pit. He's going to drive up to the cave entrance and make a investigation and perception Don't check. Don't like that. Don't like that either. Investigation first, 11 at the cave entrance. What are you trying to investigate? If people... Oh, I guess so I'll make, make a survival. survival check. Yeah. yeah. 14. 14? I think the same as last time. Uh, yeah. No, you were like a 9 last time. No. 9! So that's nice. below my minimum for survival. 14, you said? You don't see any tracks. Okay. And then um, investigation to essentially look for anything, any traps, I guess. Okay, sure. Eight. Eight, you do not see any traps. He's going to dismount his motorcycle. Okay. And walk closer to the obelisk, see if he can learn more about it. Okay. Um... He will not touch it because he learned his lesson in that dream sequence. <laughs> <laughs> it does not have I know here. Okay. Uh, it does. It, it, it is made out of this marbled um, black stone. It has almost a a shine as if it's been polished, uh, even though it, in theory, has stood here unattended for who knows how long. Um, it is four sides that um, slowly come up uh, to a pointed. Uh, head as an obelisk typically does, uh, and it does appear to have a form of inscription all over it. Um, what languages do you speak? Outside of Thieves Cant, Common, Draconic, Elvish, and Sylvan. You do not recognize it. Don't know about the obelisk. Don't know what it does. Can't read the language. Going into the cave to hide. I will see you all in. He looks. Oh, however long it takes. Are you on the way yet? Yeah, yeah. we're on the way. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll me a d20. 19. Okay. Cool. So, uh, without issue, the next five, seven minutes pass. Would I roll to hide in the cave? Uh, yes, go ahead and make a stealth check. With disadvantage. Disadvantage? You are trying to hide an entire vehicle. But I do have advantage on stealth. So it's a flat roll. I will say you have advantage on stealth if you are trying to hide separately from your motorcycle. Disadvantage, then. Riss, I have an idea. <laughs> yes. It might be beneficial to leave the motorcycle, but have it appear to be in disarray as if you crashed. That might put anyone who gets there before us off guard. And how would he make it look that way? Put it on its side by a wall. Doesn't need to be too... I'm trying to think of what role... He might, he might want to have it ready in case he needs to which, get out of there. Right, which is why it's on its side. It can be lifted They're heavy. easily. I'm going are you, to are you strong? With disadvantage, 
It is a 15 for stealth. Okay, that's not bad. Now, All knowing, Riss knowing how stealthy he is and what he's accomplished being stealthy, would he judge us to be a good... It, probably the best you can hope for at the moment. Hmm, get that answer. Okay. <laughs> he will go inside the cave, yep. find like an alcove right by the door, so yep. assuming they just zoom right by, they will mm -hmm. miss him. Got it. All right. So... The two of you in your vehicles, Ray and Zara, uh, Deheon is kind of just in the back with, with Makoto, Einar in front, uh, all of you keeping an eye out. Uh, you appear to be at the front of the pack. You do see a number of other vehicles approaching, but they are at a distance at the moment. You are ahead of the ones that you have eyes on. Um, if you'd like to make a perception check, you can get more details, but... 12. Natural 20. <laughs> okay. Good. What is with 20. this woman and all the natural 20s That's she rolled? That's a good dice. Don't question it. It's helping. Good I'm dice. the expert here, right. so. You see, uh, once more, you see the woman on the flying vehicle uh, that you had seen tailing you before the canyon. You see a vehicle of similar make to your own except well over twice the size with a blue fire giant riding on it. You see a uh, man in a chariot uh, being pulled by two air elementals. Uh, you see the metallic dragon flying over as well as the um, Leonin and rabbit folk uh, motorcycle and sidecar. And finally, you see a um, triangular-shaped vehicle that is mostly shielded in the front, uh, but has a large uh, crane on the back of it. And with a nat 20, do I see any indication of anyone in front of us? Uh, no. Okay. That, that is what I rolled, is the positions for each of them uh, compared to your roll, and you rolled higher than any. There you go. Nice. There so... You are, yeah, so you are at the front of the pack. The, there, now, there may have been people who already went through, but as far as you can tell, anyone who's currently in the area, you are ahead of. Yeah, okay. he was 15 DC to determine that on survival. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <clears throat> so, do we reach the top of the... So, yeah, without issue, within the, within the next few minutes, you drive and reach the top. Do you slow down? Uh, absolutely. I feel like that would come just from mm. natural understanding of how vehicles would yeah. go up a slope. The adventure side of me wants to go fast, but then the safe side of me, because we're in the lead, Riss does is going not to, like him. Knowing he's right there, right there, he's going to step out of the cave and just watch. <laughs> Understood. Okay, so you slow down. Zara, do you slow down? My brain tells What's you. your wisdom? I'm, How many you diamonds? Roll no, right roll, maybe Can I revivify her? I'm minus one wisdom. The the brain side of me, that's Stacy, says, slow down. Keep it safe. The Zara character side of me is like, knowing that Riss is that. watching, is like, let me show him how it's done. How far in front of me are you? Um, like, I think we're about the 50 to 100 feet. 50 feet? Tell me it's 50. 50 to 100 feet. <sighs> Don't Do worry, if she dies, Do I'll back. Hey. back. <laughs> Featherfall. Have fun. Yeah, you do have feather fall. Too. Oh, and I do have feather fall. Yeah, I'm gonna go for it. All right, I'm gonna give you inspiration for that. <laughs> yes. Hey, now you can give it back. Yes. Yes, I will. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna have you make a uh, as you just drive off and just whoom. behind you. You hear Zara. And I Zara. can do a stunt. Zara. You can do stunt. If you would like to do a stunt, go for it. I would Please, like, you yes. know, like when you like do like yeah. the, like you're in the air and you kind of do like the, Absolutely. Either, like the woo, like you're, you're definitely, the leg out I'm, show, I'm yeah. showing off. Um, yeah. All right. Go ahead and make a, make a stunt. Make a dexterity, a, uh, you make a dexterity check using the bike's dexterity. Okay. You're rolling so, that one. So it's <laughs> plus four. Plus four. Okay, thank yeah. you. I will cry from laughter. No, oh, that's twenty-one. Good. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yeah, she just goes, vroom, and does what? What kind of stunt do you do? Do a backflip. Do a backflip. Yeah, I'll do a backflip. That's yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna say you skip the first check because of the successful stunt. Dang. So make a 
Uh, I assume you would use Juke to give yourself advantage. So as you approach the, the second third of the slope down, make a flat check because you would have disadvantage. Okay. Hey, I know. 14. Yep. Plus, so, uh, oh, do I add anything? It's plus the... Um, plus four. So 18. 18? Mm-hmm. What are you thinking, <laughs> Ray? Okay. All right, and then one more. One more. Okay. You want to try the same thing? No. Okay, perfect. Are you sure? Floor it. No. Floor it. Uh, plus no. four still. Mm-hmm. 23. That's Ryan, not Ray. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> so Zara, honestly, before you even reach the top of the slope, Zara reaches the bottom without issue. You, uh, you kind of land after doing a, a full-on backflip through the air. <laughs> and just skid to a stop in in the clearing at the bottom. And I can see him, right? Because he's yeah, out. He's and I look, and I'm like, sure and that's how it's done. <laughs> Give me a couple years. Make oh, a man. make a make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> tell me, tell me, you're not gonna have trouble keeping your composure. True. Yeah, that's a six. <laughs> <laughs> He's no he might longer. say show off. You can tell what he's thinking. That's right. Mm. <laughs> he doesn't say it telepathically because he doesn't want to score you all. But, <laughs> but you are just yeah. You're a uh, you, 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 cat. Got your tongue? That's a, yeah, cat, yeah. Yeah. Zara got the tongue. Gotcha. Not yet. <laughs> we say these things for Ryan's reaction. Fuck you. <laughs> hey. Oh, your one. So, so as you approach the top, yes. you said you were slowing down. Yes. Okay. You approach the top and you slow down to a stop and you see mm-hmm. the very steep slope ahead of you, mm-hmm. which DKON kind of just leans over and just goes, yeah, this is, oh, this is what we thought. Well, we do have a wider base, so I'm hoping that this won't be as big of a problem. Physics and all that. <clears throat> So let's descend at an angle to try Tangled and says minimize. What are you talking about over there? I trust my, hear, I this trust is my vehicle, but I don't know if I trust them as much. Uh, Ten oh, Gold no. says they don't make it. You're on. She has more faith than in them. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so slowly and at an angle, I would like to begin descending. Okay. Uh, yeah, make a dexterity saving throw. Can I juke to give myself advantage? Uh, is that something your vehicle can do? Yes. Then yes. Wait, uh, can I give you guidance? Yes, you can. Here. Please, Are you oh God. Don't Here, I'm... Uh, this is a saving throw. Is saving this is a saving throw, not a oh, ability check. Uh, then it's, uh, resistance. Cool. Okay. I'm just gonna keep his hand on, on Ray's shoulder the whole time. Eleven. That's a fail. That is... Gosh dang it. Uh... <laughs> You're an ass. <laughs> It's not my fault! It is to your fault! You're the one who rolled that. You rolled a one. I, like, I can control the die. You rolled a one and a four. No, I rolled a I do not four. control the die! Is it my time. dexterity saving throw, no, or is it the vehicles? Me. Okay, so yeah, it's an 11. Alright. Uh, you start descending, and your efforts to keep the vehicle slow works against you. As you begin sliding. And begin falling. How do I correct this? Uh, can I cast feather fall on them? It's a multi. Uh, oh, true. Oh, feather fall. So as we're falling, I cast. You are not falling in a way that is viable to trigger the feather fall spell. Wall of force to stop our descent. Uh, okay. are you sure you uh, gravity? We're force? not falling as fast right now. What I'm going to you, do yes, you have begun slipping. Yes, oh, so I, I'm I going guess that's to true. use it to angle us <laughs> down so that we're sliding. okay. Make a flat intelligence check. Flat intelligence, uh huh. Twelve. Yeah, I'll say that you're able to kind of get the angle enough given how you're falling. Okay, so you were not going to be able to correct that. You were you were just about to fall and tumble down the entire 300 feet. Yep. So uh, go ahead and give yourself a piety point for that because that is a. One heck of a creative solution. Nice. Uh, well done. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to make sure I was like, oh no. Uh, and then go ahead and make another dexterity saving throw. For the please vehicle. take another, please take another. Oh. I will take another die. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm juking again. Yep. Oh, son. 
Okay. There you go. 13. 16. Passes. You're welcome. <sighs> if, right. if needed, can I give them um, Flash of Genius? Uh, what's the range on that? Oh, 30 feet. Never mind. <laughs> okay, last 100 feet. One more. Take the die again. Yes, I know. <laughs> Einar is literally like That's a, a 22. Your shoulder. There you go. So see see what, the, what the second roll is anyway. Higher. Yeah. Cool. So 19 on the last, last bit was no trouble for any So, you watch, and you are just like, kind of grinning, just already feeling those coins in your hand, as you watch the car begin to tumble, and then out of nowhere, it is caught by some kind of invisible force as he casts Wall of Force, and you see it kind of just slide around and recorrect in a way that by all laws of physics would make no sense at all but you know ray yeah. and you're just hmm, as they come <laughs> as they come to a uh flawless and successful stop at the bottom with no damage <laughs> and i'm like i was looking over and he's like you all right there ray you look a little sweaty <laughs> i hate the desert <laughs> <laughs> and i'm just like um no that was not by pure skill pay up <laughs> Did you is, bet against <laughs> us, Riss? Yes. Give ten her coins. the money. I gave her 10 coins. See, you better. I don't need the money. Yeah. I just need the satisfaction of knowing I was right. Which I got, so thank you. Uh, <laughs> got with a little magic help. Mm -hmm. Hey, skill. <laughs> yeah. I'll make sure to define my terms <clears throat> next time. So. I would like to take a look at the obelisk. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna You're just it. a sore loser. <laughs> Dude, please. <laughs> I would like to oh, uh, um. do insight for how they get out of the vehicle. They're little wobbly legged. <laughs> like, you can see through the windshield that, like, Einar is tightly gripping <laughs> Ray's shoulder. Like, his thumb is digging into his, into his this skin. This is the plate armor. Mm -hmm. uh, oh. The Kaon also leaves the vehicle and, uh,. He's kind of just, he goes over next to the wall by the cave entrance and is kind of just tending to his more bounder's wounds. Got it. Can I assist with animal handling? Uh, you can assist with a medicine check. Cool. Mm -hmm. I can do that. Might want to let me do that. Mm -hmm. I'd like to bring Makoto over to the office. And I'm going to go, 15. I'm going to go look at the obelisk. Okay. Oh. So yeah, uh, the Einar, Makoto, Ray, and Zara... Uh, you head over to the obelisk. What'd you get on medicine? Fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah, you are. You actually do help, and uh, you're helping to bandage it up and and all that. He's gonna ask. This is not a true Morbounder, is it? <laughs> it's a uh, an an offshoot species. It's a bristled Morbounder, bred to be. Much more dangerous, and many consider them to be worse as mounts as a result, but this one and I get along just fine. Clearly. He looks at the tusks I hear more dangerous, like, all right. <laughs> so, uh, as you approach, what languages do you all speak? I only speak, I speak common and draconic. I speak the same as um, Riss, but I have no Mish as well. Okay. Celestial, okay. so common, and giant. None of you recognize the writing on the obelisk. Makoto? Including Makoto. Does anyone have comprehend languages? I guarantee you I don't. Is there anything else we can do to understand it? Like Arcana? I'm or... having... I'll make an Arcana you check. You can make a hist a, 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 an Arcana check. You can make an Arcana check to uh, discern what language it is. Can I do the same? Yeah, sure. Only a 17. Still higher than me. A 17 will do it. What, what'd you get? Uh, What's... 14. 14. So, yeah, Zara... Um, Two and a five. I smart. <laughs> it's interesting. You don't recognize the script at first, but something about it just seems familiar in a, in a strange way, something half remembered. And then it comes to mind that this is Cory, the language of dream spirits. So I share that information with them. So, what do you do? I wonder how our old bald friend is doing. Does it jog? Does the obelisk itself jog my memory at all of the structures that we saw when we were in Eroy's realm? Uh, make a Arcana check. Uh, twenty-five. 
25. Uh, yeah, it, it almost exactly resembles um, some of the structures, not not the structures that the aberrations were coming from. More like it bears more resemblance to the space where Iroy took you after. Okay. Shh. Well, I'd love to hear what ideas you guys have. Um, could I like, but could I like, because I'm worried that this might be something that like transports or maybe, I don't know if it summons something, but could I like. I don't think it does either. I think this rock holds some sort of memory. Mm. Unfortunately, at this moment, I don't believe now is the time for us to. I don't think now is the time for us to investigate this too. I have comprehend languages. Oh, well, that would be helpful. then go for it. She has to catch as, cast it as a ritual. Ten First turns to the chaos and say, "It's all about go, go, go until okay. I find a here's what here's what I'm going to do. <clears throat> I can keep, I can go ahead. I was just worried this might cause a reaction of some sort. I don't I don't want to split up, um, but I also don't want to be out in the open in case something happens. So, Makoto can can she can't cast it. Why don't as you have a spell, my, right? She doesn't have a prepared today. Why don't you? Uh, that's how you have to cast it before. I was gonna say you could write down the symbols, copy them. You know, there is thing for thing, and then comprehend language later. Can Makoto transcribe, memorizes, and transcribe it later? She could, but it would take more time than just casting. Okay, Ugh. then let's do that. I say we all go back into the cave. I'll stay out here with her, but if we can bring the vehicles into the cave, we might have... What's this cave look like, by the way? Yeah, how big is the cave mouth? Check. Cave mouth is maybe 50 feet across. Oh, wow. Similar in height. Yeah, 24 for inside on perception. What it looks like on the inside. Uh, Perception? Okay, 24. Uh, it's It appears to be a... What was once a natural cave that has been... Uh, carved away at and added to. Um, it kind of just goes for maybe 150 feet before it turns. It'll turn to the other Find my motorcycle, this little enclave or pocket, whatever you want to call it. Alcove. Alcove. What? Uh, you can put them there. Um, I would say, Ray, if anyone's saying, well, Makoto, it's not you because you are a driver. I knew you said I had like a strange kind of remember, but like. Would there be any other knowledge I would have, like, from being in previous races of, like, seeing something like this and, like, what its use would have been? From your experience in previous races, this has never been the relay point. This is new for this race specifically. Um, I will say, however, as an artificer um, with a special specialty in, you know, making magic items, you could possibly discern the usage of it. If you spent time investigating it. Okay. How long could I investigate while they're... If oh, yeah, sure. So, yeah, go ahead and make an Arcana check. Um, 23? 23. Uh, it's a bit difficult because it's... It's like the inscriptions are in two parts. One of them is just writing. Yes. yes. I just wanted to let you know I already rolled for something that I'm trying to do. I just okay. Do what are you doing? I want to investigate, uh, or not investigate, but do a survival check for like tracks and stuff. Like okay. That. Uh, so, so yeah, we'll get to that in just a second. Got it. So we'll get to that in just a second. Um, so yeah, it, one part of the writing just appears to be writing. There's no arcane inscriptions that you recognize. No, nothing that would give this purpose other than just a standing stone um, meant to keep record of something. The other half, however, um, along the uh, the top and bottom of the obelisk itself, uh, with a 23, it implies to you that the obelisk might be of a container of some sort. Like, it might... It's, it's unclear exactly what, um, but it it is supposed to hold something. Uh, hold something inside of it. In one way or another. Is what you're able to discern. Contain an object? 
unfortunately, it's not specific enough with you not knowing the language. You're able to recognize some of the arcane symbols and glyphs that are used, but there there is a theme of containment. Beyond that, you don't know. Okay. I'm going to work on moving the vehicle into the cave. Okay, sure. Uh, are you going to hide it? or yeah. just? I'm going to try to hide it as best. All I right, can. make a stealth check with disadvantage using the vehicles. 14. 14. Yep, yeah, you, you find the same alcove. I kind of, because I know you have your thing to do. I would say, I don't, I was kind of going to tell them, like, I don't want to spend too much time on this, but I also feel like if it's here, it's here for a reason, because I've spend never 10 seen something. No, but and 10 minutes. we leave. 10 minutes is 10 minutes in a race. <laughs> Whatever, you were just ogling it too there, sweetheart. <laughs> you, you, you would have had to spend at least a few minutes. Oh. Uh, observing it and which is fine looking it over um would you have touched it at all during that time no i think i was very wary to make sure i just kind of i'm not touching this thing (laughs) just so you know just so you know comprehend languages in order to understand a written language you have to touch it Mm, no i'm not so sure i want her to she's already more than halfway through the ritual no no but once it's cast it lasts for 10 minutes and then, oh no, it lasts for an hour, and she has to touch the item for the duration. You understand? <laughs> <laughs> what did down. you do? He made it. That's what she said. Joke. Uh, I was do it in Discord, well. I know. I meant to put it in Discord. I forgot. <laughs> for the duration, you understand the literal meaning of any spoken language you hear. You also understand any written language that you see, but you must be touching the surface on which the words are written. It takes about one minute to read one page of text. Now, the, the writing here is large and sparse, so it wouldn't take very long to read, but it would does will require her to touch it. Makoto? Yes. Are you focusing on her spellbook at the moment? Right. Placing your hand on this could potentially have negative consequences. So can most of the things we do. And he holds up the stub on his right hand. At all, at any cost, I want to avoid the same thing happening to you. But I'm going to let you make this decision. I appreciate that. I'm going to wait. That's a fun and story she- sometimes, how he lost his hand. I'll tell you about it later. And uh, she does complete the ritual. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, so it's you and her. Are you still near it, or did you retreat into the cave? Um, I feel like I'm I'm still kind of looking at it. I don't know. I feel like maybe I'm with them. It's I don't know how close they are. I mean, I'm not too close because he was just having a moment with Makoto, so I'm probably kind of... Okay. Um... Go ahead and make a perception check for me then. Okay. And you can make one oh you can use your passive. Seventeen. And 17. as as they're doing that, Riss is at the mouth of the cave. Um or he'll, he'll be by You said them. perception? Yeah. He'll be oh, by them advantage. near the obelisk, but we'll have his bow and arrow out. Got it. I have sixteen. No, go ahead. Uh, Ray would have mentioned to you to go to the cave. Seven motion to you to go. Well, he has a better shot at people coming down the slope if he's by the obelisk. I have an idea. I'm sure you do. Riss also wants to take a shot. So. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I feel you. Yeah, sorry. Um, okay. Would you like to hit them when they're not moving? Yes, that's what I'm saying. Like I'm saying either I cause them to wreck coming down or you, know, you freeze them. Yeah. Anyway. Um, you notice that there are, interestingly enough, um, the area is surrounded with a, it's shrouded in a shade. Because despite it being clear and it's probably the middle of the day it is shaded and there are very very dark clouds overhead uh no rain it's it looks more like fog or smoke as opposed to like heavy rain clouds um over the obelisk over yeah for yeah over the obelisk over a little bit of a little bit of a distance um and in it you do see uh a flash of you assume lightning but it does illuminate a silhouette of uh the mechanical dragon which appears to be attempting to fly over the area and is struggling against something Hmm. it does not appear to be like it's not like waiting up there ready to pounce but between the two of you you noticing this passively and you 
looking at it. Uh, it is struggling with something in the air over this. So it's almost like running into a force field or like a creature? Like, cause it's like, Unclear. Unclear, just The struggling, struggling looks like something's pulling against it or it's in a uh, contested battle with something else. Does it look like it's a physical struggle as in something is, or is it physically pu- pushing it against? Uh, yes, but it could be anything from another creature to very powerful wind okay. to something a magical magic. force. It, it, it's very unclear as to what specifically is doing that. Um, but you can see that. In, ad- in addition, you do see the very large motorcycle with the fire giant on it perched at the top of the slope uh, and just watching. Mm. Not coming down at the moment. Okay. Might be like, hey guys, are we almost done over there? I feel like we should get back to it. And I will say that with that, the ritual finishes. <sighs> she takes a breath. And places her hand on the obelisk. My hand is on her shoulder. Okay. And as she does that, she opens her eyes and you can see her scanning it. Her eyes widen. It's the location of the vault. She immediately begins, like, keeping her hand on with one and, like, propping her foot up against it, keeping one hand on it, and beginning to scribble in her spell book. Passive perception of 17, passive perception of... 16. I'm Uh, immediately looking around and checking... 18? 18. Mm -hmm. For Uh, any threats. Got it. Are you still in the cave, too? I mean, I have no idea. Oh, yes, and so, your survival check with a, what'd you roll? Uh, 15. 28. You got yeah, a 28 on survival? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I have a plus 9. Okay, sure. That's cool. <laughs> um, You do notice multiple tracks. Okay. Uh, Did they appear to be from other racers or from creatures? You notice, let's see. I want to uh, find out if there's monsters about them. You notice hoof prints. Okay, hoof prints. Uh... A set of normal footprints. Oh, the monk's been through here. <laughs> the monk. Uh, that's all you see for now. Okay, cool. <coughs> all right. So we're two racers behind. At least. Do I notice anything beginning to happen to her as she's... To her? Nothing. Okay. What happens in the surrounding area? Uh, from the obelisk, you see something. <laughs> begin to crawl out from it. Is it pitch black? No. It is... I will send y'all a picture of it in just a moment. As something... It's... Go to hurry up and write down the location. I I know, I know. I'm, I'm hurrying. I'll draw its attention. As you see this... Honestly disgusting creature just reach and crawl out. Um, I'm going to send a picture to the Discord. Okay. Okay. Can I take Disgusting my revolver creature. out? I'm kind of as I'm watching just... <laughs> so, basically, the average Walmart customer pop up. <laughs> God bless. <Ugh. laughs> uh, no, that's Walmart at like 3 a.m. Yeah, that is Walmart at 3 a.m. Yeah. Uh, as a t- Sukora Cordy crawls out. Uh, that is about as big as a person, a almost snake-like body with two arms with pincers on either end. It looks like an aberration. Uh, Is it an aberration? You can make an arcana check. Yeah. That is a 23. It does appear to be an aberration, yes. Riss is going to... uh, Are we rolling initiative? Yes, we are rolling initiative. Um, Correct me if I'm wrong. Aberrations don't like uh, radiant damage, right? I would know, and I cannot remember. I know they are resistant to psychic damage. Why do I always roll terribly on Which is not great, because that's like half the... No, that's more than half of the damage my whip does. It's psychic. <laughs> yeah. Where are you? Um, well, I'm next. I'm like... So, Zara, what'd you get? Get to the vehicle. Eight. Eight? I am like... <laughs> oh, listen, this is better right. than me. You here. <laughs> get to the vehicle. I'll draw it away. When she's done, you all get all follow. So, Einar, what'd you get? Seven. Seven. Riss. I forget what my first roll was, but the second roll was event, so 19. 19. Ray. 22. 
22. Makoto. Roll a four. <laughs> Zara. Eight. Eight. Got it. Ray goes into battle mode. Mm hmm. I already got and my, protective I mode. I already got my Ray goes, you keep the other contestants off of her. I got the aberration. All right, Ray, you were up first. Okay. Um. Oh, wow, what'd you get, Ray? 22. Oh, very nice. Who's coming down to the canyon? Canyon. At the moment, no one. The large giant on the motorcycle is still at the top, just looking down. The aberration, is it the only aberration that's coming out of the obelisk? Uh, you notice that two more are also beginning to crawl their way out. How close is <laughs> what? How close is Makoto to finishing? You're not sure. Is she still writing it down? Yes. I'm gonna hold my action. Okay, for what? I'm holding... How far am I from the obelisk? I'm at like the entrance. We'll say 150. We'll say we'll say 100 feet from the entrance of the cave. Ah, oh, dang, that's just too far. I'm holding my action for when Makoto finishes. Okay, and what are you holding? Dimension door. Okay, just so you know, if he gets back to your turn, that spell slot is gone. I would hold... I don't, I, know when, actually, I don't know when she's going to be done, though. Well, hold until something attacks her or you. Okay, I'll wait and I will, I'll hold not Dimension Door, but I will hold Shocking Grasp for if something goes to attack her. Okay, got it. You have to let go of her to use that, though. I know. Okay, okay. okay so uh, you are just holding Shocking Grasp if one of them goes for her. Correct. Okay. Uh, the objective is to get them to hit me. The first one is going to go for her. Uh, it's going to make a stinger attack first. So yeah, you go. You do shocking grasp. Yep, that is twenty-one to hit. That hits. Cool. Two d eight. Ooh. Thirteen lightning damage. So thirteen lightning damage. The first one. Yep. Cool. It takes it, uh, and it's going to attack her. That is a... It also can't take reactions until the start of the turn. Good to know. That is a 14, which... I need to remind myself what Makoto's armor class is. It is 17. Yeah, misses. All right, then it's going to make uh, a pincer attack. Misses. And a claw attack, which misses. As it's just kind of... And just reaching for her, she just kind of kicks it away as she's just scribbling, doing everything she can. She is her father's daughter. Yep. Uh, and the lightning on its back uh, was definitely unpleasant. So, Riss, you are up. Oops. See Riss kind of get a little more serious and step back and go. Aberrations. Because they don't, I assume they don't speak common, but. Oh, aberrations. A better quarry is over here. Come get the Fist of the Void, and he'll loose off two shots at one of the ones who hasn't gone from Makoto yet. Okay, got it. I don't know which one that would be, whichever one's closest, I guess. But they have not gone in initial war yet, so I have advantage. That is true. Yeah. Um, 19 to hit. Uh, 19 hits. Perfect. And I'll use... And go ahead and make a... Intimidation check. Not too bad. Intimidation. Ow. That was only six. But for damage. And then sneak attack as well. How big it is. Why not too here? Mm. He has so many dice. Yes, he does. <laughs> I know. Now the psychic damage is only one. Okay, the psychic damage, yeah, does, it is, so how much psychic damage does it do? One damage, one point of psychic damage. Okay, I'm going to half that to zero. Yep. Um, <laughs> and then the rest of it is 16 plus 8, so 24 damage on the first hit. And then he'll aim for the second one that hasn't attacked Makoto yet with okay. the second shot. So total of 16 damage mm -hmm. for the first one? Got it, second shot. Um, what was that first roll? Four. Okay, so seven. So 19 again for the... Yeah, hits. 
No sneak attack for this one, though. But maximum damage, 16 damage. She many crickets. Okay. Okay, so that's your turn. And what'd you get on the intimidation? Uh, bonus action, hunter's mark on the first one that hit. Intimidation was only a six. Got it. Okay. Uh, the one that you put hunter's mark on is coming for you. Uh, it can move... Let's see, you're 50 feet away. It can only move 40 feet. Um, it's within range of me, though. Uh, I'm moving out. So, technically, no. Because I, I was I there. Movie. There you go. Uh, it, it's Stinger has a 10 foot reach though, so it is going to be uh, So they're here, you're this way, I'm going this way. That's alright, that should be enough. You should be enough. Be oh, no. careful. These things I feel like have some sort of uh, maybe power degradation when they hit you, similar to. Where is it? Trust me. Does an 18 hit? Okay. 18 on myself, yes. Oh. Alright. That is. That went on a journey. Uh, 10 piercing damage and 12 psychic damage. And you must make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, mother. Yep. Hey, wisdom saving throws. Woo! 21. Pass. Okay. Uh, that's that one's turn. Oh, it has disadvantage. Why? It does. Because I have my displacement clip now. That's right. Ah, ah. <laughs> that rip. Yeah. Um, okay, second one is up, and it's going to come around and try and attack Makoto. Uh, and it's flanking with the other one, so. Uh, first attack is not a natural one, but it's instead is 21. Uh, what is, she's going to use shield. Sure, <laughs> just, she is. Get away, let me finish. <laughs> uh, <laughs> second attack with the claws. Uh, it's a 22, which is her new armor class with shield already. Uh, uh so that's going to hit, uh, for 16 slashing damage. There's been worse. And, uh, is last she... attack. Huh? Uh, is she within? Well, I guess I can't do anything right. I thought I could do flash of genius, if she... but she didn't roll. Yeah, no, that's, she didn't roll for that. Uh, but... The stinger attack will miss. Uh, so with a 16, it would have missed anyway. Zara, you are now up. Okay, so I feel like I would kind of... I, I'm going to shoot the, definitely the first one, but like, how close am I to my bite? Because I feel like I'd want to... I think you're like basically right next to it. Okay, because I might like... So you're in the cave. No, I don't... Did you take your bike into the cave? Oh, that's true. I don't. I don't really remember. I didn't really know exactly. I, cause I, well, I got off to look at the obelisk. Right. That's what I was thinking. Is like your your bike is out in the open. Yeah, I don't remember yeah. her saying she was gonna. So I'll probably did. get on my bike if I can and then aim for the shot, just so I'm sure. ready to kind of respond to whatever. Right. Are you gonna use your bonus action to start the vehicle? Um, sure. I'll do that. All right. Go for it. And then, which one are you attacking? Um, I think the first one the, got it. that came out. Try to get rid of him. Oof. Okay, hold on. Uh, that's a 20. Uh, 20 will hit. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 19 hits, 20 hits. Should I, do you guys want me to use Arcane Jolt on it? Yeah, I would say so. Just for, on one of them at least, you know, use one okay. charge. I'll use it on that one then. Um, sorry. Okay. <laughs> for the listeners, that was not her entire role. So seven plus six is thirteen, and then my arcane jolt, or I can restore hit points. Oh, uh, no, we got to make sure. Okay, it's not bad. Okay, so eight, eighteen, thirteen plus five is eighteen. Yeah, uh, eighteen damage. Nice. Mm -hmm. All right. Cool. Uh, second attack. All right, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm not going to use Arcane Jolt this Got time, it. though. Okay. 14. Uh, misses. All right. Uh, Einar. You hear Riss say, Einar, hold your action. I'll bring it to you. Uh, well, I mean, Einar's still going to run up, like, 30 yeah, feet yeah. towards the run other towards one. each other. Oh, which, the other one. Okay. I mean, well, towards the one that was going to you. Yeah, yeah. Did which you... should put me, I think, at about 60 feet away from it, given the angles. I was, I could Give or take, sure. This, but I it might be, like, 85. But, um... Either way, be within range. Um, Einar is going to cast, um... 
Uh, I think it's uh, Sacred Flame. Yes. Okay. Uh, it needs to make a Dexterity saving throw. Dexterity saving throw. That is a natural 20. Oh, uh, well, <laughs> at least I made it waste a natural 20 on a cantrip. That's true. That is true. Um, I think additionally... Uh, do you think I should waste a fourth level spell on these guys? No. Okay. If anything, save that for in case the riders just decide to attack us. All right. I'm just going to give myself um, shield of faith. Uh, yeah, shield of faith. Just in case they decide okay. to go after me. Uh, Makoto is going to spend her turn continuing to write, so she's going to make a flat intelligence check. Speed it up, girl. Natural that? 20. Uh, she does not, and she only rolled a 9, so she's a little bit distracted trying to get it down. Yeah, shield would do that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so it's going to be a few more turns. Basically, I'm, she has to re- reach a certain number of successes for uh, the writing to be finished. I'm going to make it a DC 15 check. Just re- three, reach a... Uh, three successes, but like a natural 20 would count as two, you know, so on and so forth. And Or I'll say like a 20. 15 counts as one, 20 counts as two, 25 counts as three. Gotcha. Yada, yada. Ray, you're up. So where are the enemies? How many are around her at the moment? Uh, two. two. One that's also in between you and her. Okay. I have damaged the second one to attack her. The one that hit her. Yeah. All three of them have been damaged. How's the one in front of me looking? It's looking fine. You got your shock and grasp, but that's it. Yeah, well. So Makoto just needs to be touching the uh, obelisk, right? Yep. Okay. So. If that's the case, then would it be possible to implement a, a wall of force in a cylindrical I do believe shape. that if you make it in a cylinder it, it has to be a certain radius as described um, it has to be or I can let, just... me, let me double check you can form it into a hemispherical dome or a sphere with a radius of up to 10 feet of, of up to or you can shape a flat surface made of a so a cylinder does not appear to be but what you could do is form a... I'm trying to essentially form a barrier. You can make two flat walls yeah. on either side of her. That's what I'm trying to do here so that yeah. they cannot reach you. Yeah. You can do that. And basically make a... Uh, yeah. She's in a box that it has one exit and it's to the obelisk. Got it. Okay. Well, it wouldn't be a box. It would be a... Because uh, you have to make them... any. Anyway, regardless. Yes. It's a prism shaped. It's a prism shape. Yes, yeah. exactly. Okay. Um, so, that being your turn, yep. the one, uh, right next to you, uh, is going to reach into you. You need to make a charisma saving throw. Oh, charisma? Yep, we gotta knock uh, it out of him now. That's bad for us. That's why I don't let them pitch. Does a 21 pass? Yes, it does. Piss off. <laughs> as, you, as it kind of just reaches its pincers into your body, passing through your armor and everything else, and you just swipe it away. And it... <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Okay. So that's its turn. Got it. Riss, you're up. Now, the one thing is 10 feet away from me, right? Yeah. But it's still technically I'm engaged with it because it did attack me. Yeah. Okay, so bonus action, disengage. Okay. And I'm going to move 30 feet towards Einar. Got it. And loose off one shot towards okay. that. Now, and then one shot towards the one that just tried to reach into Brian. Got it. Right. So I will do advantage on the one with Ray because it is within five feet. Within Four. five feet? Wait, what does that mean? You get sneak attack, not advantage. Sneak attack. That's well. That, good thing I rolled that one first. Uh, 19 to hit. Hits. All right, so that's sneak attack. And then... So, 
25 damage on the first hit. 25 damage? Is any of that psychic? Uh, oh, four of it was psychic. So oh. 23, I guess, if you have it. Yeah. Um, and then... It is looking very hurt as that arrow pierces it. Perfect. 17 for the second attack. Uh, that'll hit. Oh, and this one has Hunter's Mark. Yes, it does. I can't use that. That's going to be 18 damage on that one. Got it. Oh, it's still... Damage dealer. Uh, the second one is now bloodied. Perfect. <laughs> well, he, he didn't hit the same one. Oh, gotcha. You uh, hear you hear the... Uh, in your head, I'm like, Coming to you. <laughs> Bring it. All right. It, right. it is now that one's turn. I need you to make a charisma saving throw. What? I'm 30 feet away from it. Yes, yes and it moves 40 feet. Uh, Don't like that. That's a... Five. You watch as the being in front of you and just reaches in and Einar, you watch as the creature dives into Riss. And he just You gotta be kidding me. Listen, every time Riss is the one that's possessed. So it, I was it just possessed him? Yep. Uh target is incapacitated and loses control of its body. Now, I can still speak to them through men- mentally, though, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, now, Will, the player, forgets how to get these things out of them, because when he did that battle with Riss, I'm pretty sure Riss was possessed. If I remember. Anyways, what's the method for getting these out? Beat them to a pulp. Beat me to a pulp? It'll hey, it's out. a good thing you took all of that psychic damage for yeah. the last, like, five times that you've taken psychic damage. Yeah, I'm like, exactly. I've been waiting for yeah. this. Uh, That's what we're going to do. Make a arcana check. Arcana? Me? Can I do it? Yeah, can any heroes? Let me do it. Four. All right, I'm going to make one. Two. Can we? Yeah, go for it. Okay, Donk. cool. Um, out of curiosity, uh, this is a question for the DM. 25? Uh, would his Same. condition technically be paralyzed? No, it is incapacitated. Dang it. Uh, the possession lasts, and with a 25 for both of you, the possession lasts until the body drops to zero hit points, the quarry ends it as a bonus action, or the quarry is forced out by an effect like Dispel Evil and Good. Come on, pal. Oh, I don't have it prepared. I I can only prepare so many. (laughs) I can only have, like, 30 spells. (laughs) I can't control, like, 20 of them. uh, That is its turn. The one that is by Makoto is now blocked off from her. Yep. So it is also going to try to possess you. Uh, so make another charisma saving throw. Uh, 19. Passes. Oh my Good. god. <laughs> Back off! It's not a high DC. Doesn't matter. Yeah. It never matters for risk. All right, Zara, you're up. Oh my god. Okay. Um... So I don't think I can do anything. I have dispel magic, but I don't have like dispel evil and good. I, I think I'm gonna shoot the other one for now. Okay, which unless one? they recommend, I might say like, how much longer? Like, do do they know how much longer? I'm shoot the one that looks the worst. Get rid of it. There's one, yeah. There's one right in front of Ray that is not yeah. looking good. I'm gonna aim for that one okay. with my revolver. Got it. Twenty one to hit. Hits. Alrighty. Oh yes, uh, twenty-one damage. Got an eight and a seven on the. Got it. So you take aim from the from on top of your motorcycle, and and you watch as the one right in front of you just as a bullet just rips through its body and it just dissolves and dissipates. No body left behind. I got you. <laughs> you hear Rusko? Great shot. He's on Makoto, and he did now. <laughs> All right, Einar. Well, seeing what uh, that one's done to my friend, <laughs> Einar looks at Riss uh-huh. and goes, Listen, this isn't personal. Just hit me. <laughs> but I'll enjoy it. <laughs> Get in line. <laughs> um, Everyone just wants to how far on. away is Riss from me at this point? Riss, if it makes you feel any better, I don't want to beat you to a pulp right now. I appreciate it. I look at it as everyone just wants to hit on me. No, everyone just wants to hit you. <laughs> Term. 
Okay. Trey, how far away is he from me? I went 30 feet towards you. Yeah, so he's like 10 feet from you. Oh, sweet! Yeah. <laughs> I know he's not even going to move. He's just going to pull out the whip and <laughs> smack him. Yep. Okay. I, I don't you. like that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Told you. Everyone just, just wants to hit on Rex. <laughs> no, you're getting flogged by your companion. I'm getting yep. whipped. Because he's vulnerable to psychic damage. No, no, no. The quarry is resistant. You're not. I'm You're not. not. Oh, okay. I think he's out. Because I gotta, <laughs> I gotta beat you up in order well, to no, get I that out. I was so vulnerable. I so I was it. like, no, I'm not. Oh, you just mean yes? I have no issue with it. Yes. <laughs> What'd you roll, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> Halfway through going to whip him, Ido goes, maybe this isn't a good idea. Risk goes, I don't really second thoughts. Boy, your roll, buddy. That's the one. Uh, Riss, your body against your will takes that opportunity to uh, throw a dagger. You just drop my bow like that? Yep. It's no, a- bow in one hand, dagger in the other. Oh, okay. He's not a very intelligent creature, is he? Okay, what's, what's uh... it trying to hit me for? No, it's decently. No. Um, so make an attack roll. <laughs> uh, with a dagger? With the shadow glass dagger. Okay, I was gonna say. Um so that's gonna be a twelve to hit. You rolled a three? I rolled yeah. a three. Okay. <laughs> so she can confirm. I confirm. Yep. I have used my good dice. Alright, so it just poom. Yeah. It, it does not make any impact. I never pulls the whip out again and goes, okay, no second guesses. <laughs> Is that your turn? Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I Risk goes, really please, can do. no more second worthy. guesses. Because I will make fun of you if I beat you. I would love the natural one for flavor's sake. He raises the whip against him and immediately has a flashback to this scene on the ship. And Ooh. he stops. Yeah. I like that. That was a good, that, mm. that's the second guess. Yeah. 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 So, as Einar raises his whip... He just gets the image in his head of a fight that he and Riss once had before, a friendly sparring match that Einhar ended up losing control during and ended up almost killing his friend. And so he hesitates. And in that moment of hesitation, the body of Riss throws a dagger, still getting the hang of it so it makes no contact, but even so. Einar, that's your turn. Makoto's up. She's gonna keep inscribing. Yep, keep it up. Better. That is that is a pass. Alright, Ray. <clears throat> so the one that's on the other side of her? Uh, yeah. Okay. There are two left? Yeah, one inside wrist, one, inside one that's right okay, there. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm gonna go to the other one, and I'm gonna shock and grasp it. Points. Got it. Why the staff is in my hand at the moment. <laughs> I had to put it away. <laughs> uh, can I flank it with Makoto? Or she's not engaged, so that she's doesn't... Okay. So. There's also a wall in between you. That's... Hang on. Holy crap. Yeah, 22. <laughs> that hits. There you go. And I will say, uh, you notice that as you're doing this, you see another vehicle come and <laughs> slam into... The uh, the giant's motorcycle sitting at the top. Uh, the motorcycle is so large that it doesn't move an inch. Uh, however, whoever's riding it, and you soon recognize it as the one who was tailing you before, does get an attack off on the giant himself. That appears to definitely take hold. And so she is now up there at the top. Gotcha. Uh, that's a 11 lightning. 11 lightning damage? All right. And it cannot take any reactions. Got it. So, I'm going to move away. All right. Riss. Um, what am I doing, DM? <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure you're attacking me, so. Uh-huh. No, I can't use, like, charisma to try and expel it. Yeah. You are incapacitated. You can do nothing. Um, you're going to take a bonus action to steady aim, giving yourself advantage. <laughs> Is this a quarry ability? Nope. This is a rogue ability. Uh, is this a new rogue ability? <laughs> hey, As of like October. 
continue to play okay. so that he knows how to play his character. <laughs> Literally, I was like, steady aim. I was like, where is this? It's one. It's one of your cunning actions. You haven't. You didn't enable additional features. What? <laughs> I will go over this with you later. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do now. But yes, okay. It allows you your if your movement you make your movement zero and you get advantage. Yeah. You should become a turret. Advantage. So, Ooh, so that's gonna hit, bud. With the bow. With the bow, so it's a thirty to hit. Yeah, that's gonna hit. Uh, so roll damage and sneak attack. Uh, yeah, sneak, sneak attack. attack. Mm -hmm. Does the quarry know about my psychic ability? Uh, yes, but that's a bonus action. Oh wait, no. Uh, yeah, add it. That's all right. It's not good. You got a one. So three psychic damage. And then... 22 other damage. So a total of... 20, 25, yeah. Okay. Uh, reduced by nine for nice. my stone's endurance. Okay. So Holy what's that, 16? Second attack. Uh, this one is not made with advantage. But yes. 23. Does not hit. Does not hit. Does not hit. Well we done. We, we need to high AC, bro. Yes, you are. <laughs> All right. Uh, so that is you and the quarry's turn. It is now the other one. Let's see if it gets its possession ability back. It does not. So it's just going to try and make a stinger attack against you. Okay. 16. No. Claws. Nat 1. Ooh. Opportunity attack. Nice. So as it goes, I'm going to hit it with Shocking Grass. Uh, do you have Warcaster? Do I? I think I'm... I, yeah. Hmm. I That's nice so. to know now. <gasps> no, Anything I else? don't. Then you can only make a melee attack. But you have the staff. I do have the staff. I'm going through my feet. Staff is a... I refreshed after you added it, and I'm like, hmm. Actions. Yes. Uh, it's a 1d8 if it's wielded two-handed. Uh-huh. You don't have two hands. <laughs> He has in the crook I hate solo. it. I hate it. What'd you roll? A natural 20. Okay. Uh, so that's 6 plus 1 plus a d6. 2. 2. Okay. So that's 9 bludgeoning damage. It is looking bloodied. Shut up. <laughs> uh, last attack. So close to an at twenty, but it's an eight, so it misses. Zara, you're up. Um, all right, I'm just gonna keep shooting unless there's someone else, like unless you guys need me somewhere else. You hear Rusko hit me. <laughs> Are you sure about that? I think he means hit on him, but either one, get this thing out of me. <laughs> <laughs> this happened too many times in my life. I don't need it another second. We, we, I don't know if I want to. We'll explain Dude, later. Hit was, him. Okay. Um, with my revolver? Yes, anything. Because okay. I could ride towards him and use shock and grasp. Whatever's more effective. Okay, I'll just shoot him, I guess. So you see me, all right, and I just aim my revolver at him. Uh -huh. Oh, darn it. A 16. No, misses. No. All right, but I can ooh, do it again. Which is right? impressive, mm -hmm. considering its wrists. I secretly, I don't want to shoot you. That's what Riss is picking up right now. Oh, here. well, yeah, I really don't, because I got a 15 that time. Misses. Both both shots, Riss, Riss's body kind of just <laughs> dodges out of the way of them as he's just staring you down, Einar. <laughs> Sorry. All right, Einar, your turn. All right. Mm -hmm. Get it together. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying over here. Einar's like, all right, playtime's over. <laughs> And he casts as a bonus action at fourth level. Um, he will cast um, spiritual weapon and cast okay. it right behind Riss. Understood. Um, does that give you advantage? No. no does it, it does give not. Sword advantage? No. No. Okay. No. I could have done. Um, I'm doing it more for a flavor of it. Yes. As you summon, and especially in the dark cavern that you are standing in at the moment, you coalesce the shadows into physical form and. You see a familiar spear floating in the air. All right. Let's see if this will hit. Oh, oh yeah, that's going to hit. 
It's a 19 it's on the die. die. On the die yeah. that hits. On the, yeah, on the die that hits. Uh, so we'll start with that one. Actually, I should be rolling this one. All right, Riss is going to use Uncanny Dodge to have the attack. Have, okay. Have the, the damage from the attack. I know all these abilities after I'm using them yet. Okay. So that's... Um, I, did not know about, I, well, I did not know about Steady Aim because that was new. So that's 12, <laughs> have two six. Six, got it. And then I will attack with my whip. Got it. Still pissed about that. <laughs> The That's of only that I a had. 16. I don't think 16. 16 misses. Yep. All right. Is that your turn? Uh, yes, that is okay. the end of my turn. Makoto's up. Jesus. Unless I can right. do as, like, a free action to drink, like... No. Bonus action to drink a potion. Uh, and with that, uh, yeah, she finishes. Thank God. All right. So she finishes up on her turn. Ray, you're up. All right. I'm dropping, uh, what's it called? I'm dropping Wall of Force. Wall of Force. Got it. Yep, I'm grabbing her. Yep. And I'm dimension dooring over to the uh, to the vehicle. Got it. Okay. Leave the final aberration for whoever comes down here next. Grab him and let's go. Ah, <laughs> oh, that might be a bit of a problem. It's in me, Ray. Oh, I know. <laughs> okay. But what about so his? What about, how far away but what about his bite? Within 500 feet. Uh, the bike is in the back with with theirs. So we just need to get him. Uh, I don't know if the thing can perceive our telepathic thoughts. That's interesting. It has yeah. To speak common first off. Well, yeah, but so lead them further in and see if we can get the other aberration to go after the people who are coming down. It, see if it stays around the pillar. That's Pretty much, yeah. Okay. But what if it doesn't and it just keeps taking pot shots it's it, me <laughs> it, well yes then I'll grab you and we can leave okay <laughs> alright so you teleport with Makoto yep uh, I'll say next to the car so that you don't accidentally collide with it correct mm. Got it. that was the plan not cool. into the car uh, but with your movement you're easily able to and that's it with your bonus action you can start it already yeah we'll do that you haven't used that yep alright uh, Riss <laughs> you are going to use a bonus action to steady aim <laughs> mm-hmm. and make an attack against Sinar uh, 23. Doesn't hit. Okay. Yep. <laughs> yeah, he has to hit 29 or <clears throat> higher to hit me. Right, because you have shield. Yes, because I have shield. 23 again, I'm only rolling 10s. Oh, beautiful. Thank you for missing me. You're very welcome. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> now stop missing me. <laughs> okay. Are you keeping track of damage? How many did you hit me last time? Yeah, I'm ke- I, I kept track of damage on your page. Okay, got gotcha. you. You're at 50 health right now. All right, uh, Kana. Uh oh. Nice. As you have finished attacking the giant at the top of the slope. Yep. What you doing? So. Having some fun. I cast Zephyr Strike on myself to give myself an advantage on um, what's his face at the top. Nice. Um, so I slash at him with my sword, uh, dealing 52 damage. Cool. Yep. Goodness. Huh? <laughs> Sneak attack. <laughs> 10d6. <laughs> Good lord. Yeah. Um, oh, no, I know, but yikes. And I am just on my hovering bike, just gliding over the sand, so I'm not even touching the ground. And I am going to... Uh, can I dash as both my action and bonus? Or not... No, I already... This is a new turn, and new yes, turn. you can. Yes. But you risk uh, damaging. Um, well, after I hit Ganon, I'm going to dash down as my bonus action. Uh, yep, okay. And then... Um, Would that be an attack of opportunity? Nope, because Zephyr Strike is... Oh, that's nice. Uh, for one minute, no, uh, no attacks of opportunity. Yeah. That is really nice. Um, Dang. So... I am going to just continue moving as yeah. fast as I can. Okay, make a constitution check on behalf of your vehicle. Well, I'm not dashing. Okay, you're not dashing. I'm not dashing a second time. Got it. Um, But I am going to, and I don't seem to be engaging with you all. I'm just going to try, I'm just getting around. Driving right past you. Yeah. Um, and as you see me come down the hill... I look at Zara, who you would recognize me from previous races, 
Mm. Um, and I've never been a threat to you. Mm-hmm. Like, it doesn't seem like I'm in this to you kill. You don't have beef. I'm, yeah, I don't have any beef. And it's just like, you know, I just That's do true. this for literally just the thrill of going fast. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of like, <laughs> a, mu- like a respect. Yes, like- we have a mutual respect. And so I look at you, I nod, and continue, continue just going. I kind of nod. <laughs> As you pass, Riska's, she's cute. I'm like, girl power. Yeah. Um... You and so that's that. That was his thought. that's roll. my turn. Okay, got it. Well, n- yeah, new turn. I'm just gonna keep going. So, what's the movement speed of my bike? Uh, 120. 120. Yeah. yeah. So then the next turn, I would be able to dash again. Yeah. Okay. But, um. Yeah. It is the the one that is left behind there. Uh. Zara, you haven't sped off yet. No, I was waiting. Sorry. I, well, I was waiting for all of them. So if we are all speeding off. Okay. Uh, are you within range? I Yeah, within 40 feet of the obelisk. Yeah. I wasn't sure exactly what. Because you haven't moved your vehicle yet. Because you need to use your action for that. No, yes. So okay. I had not. Because I tried shooting at him and I missed. Make a charisma saving throw. Oh, no. That's not bad. That's not bad. Uh, if I need to. It's a seven, eighteen. That passes. Okay, oh, I was like, you're proficient in charisma saving throws. I think so. No, she just has a high charisma. Is that? Oh something? yes, yes. Okay. You don't have proficiency in it, but you oh have no, charisma. yes. For some reason, I was thinking you had minus one, but that's wisdom. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So it attempts to, but is not able to possess you. It is now your turn. Oh, My turn. So then I would. Out. I missed that. No, there's. This is the one that was fighting Ray. And we're all. Uh, there were two fighting Ray. We're all moving, right? Because yeah, they grabbed him. They're in it. the car. Well, Riss is still standing there. Riss is still standing there trying to hit Einar. Yeah. <coughs> so would you guys rather me get going, or would you rather me shoot him? Try to I'll shoot smack him. him. Okay. <laughs> and right. you do hear, I will say, you do hear as she is zoomed by, especially saying that she did. But should I try to get idea, away? She, goes, she was cute. <laughs> <laughs> and it looks like. No, I I can't look. So yeah, but he says she was cute. What would you do? I would just be Keep like, how first. could you even tell? She flew right by. Couldn't even get in the good enough. Yeah, she's look. in like full enough. leather armor. She's got like goggles. She's got a face mask up. Like you enough. can't really but see anything. But it's already hair. started. Oh, it is. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I all I have to do is move. Can I do both? Can I get away from the thing near me? And- it's an action to start steering. If you need to move, move. Yeah. Yeah, <clears> I want to <throat> move away from the one that's. Maybe move very, and go closer to. Granted, if I do hit him hard, I could. But yeah, he right now he's only been hit once. So I can move I don't close know. enough. Him. Could run into him. Oh, you know what? Actually, that that is a way to accomplish both in one. Yeah. Um, I'm like. You got the size on the front. I'm like, right? I'm sorry, but also my mind. I'm thinking he just called her cute. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, Riss doesn't do a lot of calculated things, but specifically saying to the open, uh, what is it? Tele- open channel? Yeah, the open telepathic chat. She was cute, was intentional. <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah, so I uh, I kind of. <laughs> um, it's like in Mean Girls. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to point out that that was my plan when I took Makoto back to the vehicle, was to run you over. Oh. <laughs> I was going to whip the vehicle around and just go full force at you and have <laughs> Einar worked. hold you in place. Mm-hmm. Like, I thought of it before I did. Yeah. Yeah. I then I would have raised you thought. both if you both went down. <laughs> a creature can use its reaction to attempt to get out of the vehicle's way. Hence, okay. holding him. Who's holding him? I can. Oh, hold fair. Uh, so, uh, Riss, make a dexterity saving throw. Alright. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm good with dex. Oof. Let's say twenty or yeah. sorry, eight. You dive out of the way, and okay. and uh, Zara just drives right past. Sorry, I hit me if I could. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> Einar, you're up. All right, do it. Uh, well, first of all, I'm gonna use my um, bonus action spiritual weapon. Yep. To we'll, we'll stick with using the the black die. Nice. Gosh, this is rolling a ton of sevens. Never mind. Black dice stays over there. Uh, that's not gonna hit you. Okay. Seven. Like I need an eight to hit you. I've rolled like three sevens in this fight against that, you. That is very unfortunate. I I don't understand. 
Um, I think rather than... Nah, I'm just going to try and hit you. Okay. This one did alright. Yeah, that'll hit. Yep. Okay, roll damage. How are you looking on health, by the way? Empty. I'm not, bl I'm not bloody yet. Gosh. Yeah. So that's, uh, that's pretty decent. Eight. That's, um... <laughs> Is my modifier plus five? Um, yeah, so that's he's going to use Uncanny Dodge. Half it. Half it's nine. All right. No, Can you just I use it. that? Yeah. Every turn, it's a reaction. Wait. Oh, no, that was a saving throw. Never mind. Okay. I haven't been hit this race yet. I've hit myself, breaking the fourth wall. <laughs> Riz is just slamming his head against the fourth wall each time Will makes a joke. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Makoto is going to get settled in. Uh, DK on is, uh, has been hiding in the car. Well, no, let's see. No, DK on, uh, is just out and is, uh, is... <sighs> this is where he was going to split up from y'all. Yeah. Does he want to stick around? Not particularly with everyone about to come through. Yeah. Get in so, the car. I was say, he's in the car. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Makoto, though, is within 120 feet. So she's going to cast Firebolt on, uh, at, at risk. Good. Nice. He can't uncanny dodge that. Not, yeah, that's a 28. <sighs> so, Makoto, please hit me. Uh, <laughs> so that's going to be 21 fire damage. Oh. I'll do it. You are now very bloodied. I'm bloodied, yes. Yep. All right. So that's Makoto's turn. Uh, Ray. Nice. How's your constitution? Plus two. Cool. Make a save. Alright. Seven. <laughs> no, that fails. That is 5d10. <laughs> Alright. Yes! Gravity sinkhole. Uh, what's the radius on that? He's in the outer portion so that I don't hit anyone that's Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Yeah. No, I was like, um. <laughs> five. You could max damage and down me. It's not max damage. No, one of your dice is cocked. Ten. Oh, which one? Okay. No. Oh, that one looked cocked from that's where one, I was. Ten. Twenty. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. That's enough. Riss is down. Grab him and let's go. <laughs> I'm, yeah. Uh, you just feel this crushing just... And everything goes dark. <laughs> and as Riss's body collapses to the ground under a gravity sinkhole... Uh, it is an instantaneous effect. What? Is it an instantaneous effect? Uh, yes. Okay. Yes. Instantaneous. Each creature in the sphere must make a constitution saving throw on a failed save. The creature takes five using force damage and is pulled in a straight line toward the center of the sphere. Yeah. So you, so you watch you as Riz's body just goes, yeah, <laughs> and just, like, skids across the ground, and you see the form of the, uh, Sukora rise out of it. <laughs> Kana, I assume you just ride on past? Uh, if she can dash this turn, uh, she's going to yeah, move her full movement. Um, which, does she have an extra 30 feet of movement with Zephyr Strike still up? Because it uh, says that... It's only once. If I remember correctly. No, it's, it's only one. You only get advantage one time, but yeah. the, the extra the extra movement yeah. speed continues. Yeah. Does it say? Yeah. So yeah. she has. So she moved 150 feet last. Got it. Time. Yep. So you are out of sight. You bend the corner and you are out of sight. Yep. However, you do hear engines revving from the entrance of the cave. People are coming down the slope right now. Can you raise him and he can get the heck out of there? I should be able. Uh, to. It is the the Sukoras. Okay. Uh. Actually, no. Make a death saving throw. Uh, that's right. Three. It's a fail. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, the Sukora is going to hiss and in common. Take a step closer and he dies. And is going to prepare an action to attack him. Intelligent model lover. <laughs> Well, I know it understands common now. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, 
The other one is... <laughs> uh, the other one has disappeared from you. Zara, you're up. Um... <clears throat> Cause I was just gonna be like, all right, then I just won't come any closer. Can I shoot? Is that the best thing to do right now? Cause I don't want. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. Communicating with you guys, like, should I? Sh Cause I can shoot the. They're separate now, right? Yeah. Okay. You can shoot them again. You aren't taking a step closer. <laughs> I'm not. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, all right, I'm not coming any closer. I'm just gonna. I will die though. Okay, twenty-two. Twenty-two will hit. Okay. I want to do Archangel. Oh well, can I do it? Now? You want? You think I should do Archangel? Can I still do it? Yeah, sure. Okay, so I'll do. I think I did Archangel twice already, right? Yes. So okay, so this is my third time. Okay, so. Best. Okay, so. That's 10 plus 6, so 16 plus, so 26? 26 damage. It is very hurt, but not down. But I can, that's my first attack. That is your first attack. <laughs> and again. All right. And it's, it's prepared action was not if someone attacked. It was if anyone moved closer. Just get shot in the back. Uh, 14. Like, oh. Misses. Darn it. Einar. Wait, if I had plus 5, my flash of genius? Possibly. You can try. Does it work for attacks? 19. Just make sure. Uh, or double check. Nine, uh, plus 5 is 19. Is that that? No. Do, you, do you want double me to check? Do that? Flash of Genius we'll works check. on... Oh, 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 sorry. How many times can you use it? Um, Just to make sure. Five times, and I've only used it once. Oh. Uh, no, ability check or saving throw, not attacks. Okay. Got it. Okay. So it's my turn? Yes. You do finish, finish the job. Does you want a to, 16 hit it? That. A 16 yeah. is its armor class. Oh, Sweet. man. But thank you, yeah. Because I don't have to move for that. Because that's not me attacking. Oh, the the sphere? sphere? It's still up? Yeah. Well, actually, uh, no, yeah. Spiritual weapon yeah. is... That's what also... it have been dragged at the gravity sinkhole? Whoa. No, because I mean, it's it an move. ethereal object. Oh, that's it can right, move. So. Uh, <coughs> that's mass failing me. 19 damage? Okay, here's the thing. Because of Gravity Sinkhole pulling Risk back, mm -hmm. the spear would be approaching from the front. Mm. Here's what I'm going to do. is I'm going to say it triggers, but not as fast as it normally would. So I'm going to have it be a... Uh, it's it's going to be a roll-off. Okay. And, and essentially an initiative check between you and the Sukora, Because you're going to hit regardless. Mm-hmm. It's a question of whether it gets to risk first. This this dark spear hurtling towards yeah, this yep. thing. We this don't a very creature. Let's see. He rolled low. Do I roll very lower? Low. No, ah! I don't. I roll the fifteen. All right. Yeah. Yes. the stinger as its eyes? It has like fifteen eyes over the its face, just all widen, and it goes to stab Riss in the chest, but is. <laughs> And, once more, instead of the body dissolving into nothingness... Yes, I got an aberration too! <laughs> you see, as it just melts into the shadow of the spear itself as it hangs there. You have an action. Cool. Yep. I'm going to... How far away is Riss from me? I'm going to go up to him. Uh, is it half my movement speed to pick him up? Uh, it is your action to pick him up, and then you move at half movement speed. Or you okay. could get him up, um, and you can move. I was just gonna, like, pick him up, and, like, uh, do just spare the die, die and just run I have off. to draw, guys. But, um... Okay, uh, that I'll wasn't do... a leveled spell, though, so aren't you able to cast, like, heal sure. your Yeah, no, I can. I was just trying to avoid using a leveled spell, because it's weaker to give like an immediate spell to one person than if I do um, my cast for what is it? I um, to, I, mass I, I, cure wounds. I didn't have right. to roll um, another death saving though, right? Depends on whether you're up by the time it comes to your turn. Cure wounds. As long as uh, as long as y'all stay real close to us, like if we stay in a tight formation, What's your I can cast uh, 60 feet. 
I can okay. cast um, Mask Your Wounds on all of us. Uh, but you guys can't move points. very far. <laughs> or sorry, 30 right. feet for a prayer of healing. Uh, mass healing word. Um, I'm I mean, driving I do have towards y'all right now. Mask Your Wounds too. Um, we'll say for the sake of this that we are out of combat order at the moment. Okay. Are you going to cast something to keep risk from... Yeah, I'm gonna just gonna give him a real quick first level cure wounds. Got it. Um, so Riss, you just uh, yes, gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> yep. As you see, uh, how much? Uh, Do I roll? Give me a moment. Uh, yeah, you'll roll. Okay. Mm. What's it? Two d eight. It's one. This is uh, first level. So seven. <coughs> so seven plus five, so twelve. <laughs> As you see the giant's motorcycle <laughs> crash at the bottom, still upright and still driving, okay. but took some damage because uh, he is a sturdy boy. Um, and you hear the other engines, but he is—he has reached the bottom and he is going to be driving towards you. So if you're moving, you gotta yeah, move. Yeah, Einar is gonna move towards. Can I the, cast? Um, oh, sorry. He's gonna move towards the. Uh, uh, whatever machine the is, yeah. yeah, the vehicle. I was bringing riding. the tormentor that towards is. them at yeah. that time, yep. and it, if it got to my turn, I was going to dash. Got it. Yep. No issue. You skid, do a do a J yep. turn. Let's Rizzle go get in. <laughs> yep. And without issue, you're on your way. You said you wanted to. I'm gonna cast Long Strider. Got it. On okay. myself, and then dash telepathically as well. though, um, Einar is going to say, "Everyone, stay close to the tormentor." Okay. Um, you well, actually, I don't think it really matters because you haven't taken any, da- any yeah. damage. Let me know where the giant is. Uh, behind you by about... Uh, Into the cave. Yeah. Now, is this a chase scene? No. Uh, because it is fairly straightforward and the giant is not faster than the Tormentor. Okay. It is of equal speed. So he's maybe 200 feet behind you. Okay. So you can hear the engine echoing as you begin to drive down the tunnel. And I'll hop off and get to mine. Yeah. So I dashed in long straight. Yeah. All right, so you travel for uh, roughly a thousand feet through a tunnel that twists and turns, only barely keeping ahead of the loud engine noises behind you. Um... I will say at one point you hear a massive <laughs> crash and explosion of someone's vehicle. You're not sure who. But eventually you see a light and <laughs> you leave the tunnel. Surrounding you, you see a fortress carved out of sandstone built into the stone crags that surround this desert. It is long abandoned. Barely any remnants remain, but only enough to be recognizable. But you continue driving. Riss goes telekinetically, or uh, telepathically. Uh, Einar, healing? Uh, yes. Uh, Einar is currently working on trying to cast um, a prayer of healing. Okay. Ten minutes to do, so don't How long does me... Beacon of Hope last? Uh, let me find out. I think it's a longer lasting one. Might be an hour. Um, it's concentration up to a minute, so I'll okay. do that, like, I guess right before I finish my other spell. Uh, can't... No, unfortunately not. Okay. Oh, no. Alright. Um... Actually, what I can do instead. Let's see. Um, transcribe. I can do. A couple. Once we're done here, mm-hmm. transcribe. I don't think you can. There's something he can cast through piety. Oh, Risk goes. Ray, pass me over some of those. Or we're saying you passed over the uh, cure wounds. Are you, re- are you reading them off to uh, me? Yeah, you can take, you're going to have to take them. Yeah, I took them. I'm driving. Uh, what true, I can so do. am I, but I'm going to read them anyways. <laughs> what I'll do instead, then, is um, 
I'll cast Mass Cure Wounds. Okay. Um, so it's 2d8 less than um, okay. Mass um, tell me that Healing Wounds. So. After I took all the psychic damage. <laughs> uh, Listen, that was up to you. Also, it's still, like, for you, because it's 24 plus 5, so it'd be 29. You were only down by, like, 20. So you're still fine. You're, you're back. So, so uh, you watch as Einar kind of looks at his own hand, and Einar, you look down at your right arm when you started your journey months and months ago. You had but a single mark on the back of your left hand. An image, a symbol. You didn't know what. It has since spread to cover your entire left arm, your neck, your back. And you now see it. The edge of edges of it, halfway down your right arm. Mm. You reach out your right hand and gather an almost tangible darkness in the palm of your right hand, which you grasp and then release. And it is almost like a a black light without the color tint of just this don't shine it in room. light that is <laughs> that is appropriate <laughs> he saved you <laughs> it is almost as if it's a light without light it is this very odd sensation, but you cast Beacon of Hope, spreading this simultaneous light and darkness. It's very odd, but it is soothing to the rest of you in a way that especially you, Ray, do not find comfort in. Can't say I blame him, but, you know. Not at all. So, you then cast uh, Mask Your Wounds, and that is max healing, which is 2d8. That's 3d8. 3d8. 3d8 plus 5. Plus 5, so that's 29 healing to everyone. And Kodo is going to be happy about that. How is she looking? Is that pretty uh, Much better. She's, I think, yeah, she's 14 below max. Okay. When did she take so much damage? Um, uh, the poison. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yep. Uh, however, you have other issues. Okay. Because... Yeah, it's just going to be a simple thing. Um, from behind, the fire giant revs his vehicle. <sighs> he raises one hand out and gathers energy in the palm of his hand and releases as he casts Eldritch Blast. Counterspell. You're counterspelling a cantrip? Oh. No. Okay. <laughs> Fine, let it hit. I'll smack him. <laughs> uh, he's aiming for the vehicle, actually. Which one? Uh, the Tormentor. Uh, can I dis... I can't dis... Nope. I can... If you want no, it doesn't work no, like that. Uh, okay. First one is a nat 20. I absolutely then counterspell a nat 20. What's the matter with you? I'll counterspell well, a cantrip. You, you have to know that kind of before like it hits, to be fair. Yeah. Counterspell is a reaction. It is a reaction to the spell being cast. Correct. Not to it hitting. I decided against it, so continue. Okay. It's it's a cantrip, so that's that's only one of the bolts. It doesn't matter. I don't want to mishap. Continue. Uh, second one is a yeah, that'll hit. Twenty-seven. Yeah, it hits the vehicle. Yes. Third one's a nat one, <gasps> and fourth one Gosh, is a fifteen. Does he have? That have four. <laughs> I'm going to leave this up to you guys. 
either the natural 20 and the nat 1 cancel each other out, or the nat 20 hits and he takes something bad for the nat 1. I would rather him cancel out. <laughs> Are you going to leave it up to a die? I was going to, but I think letting them cancel out would, would be a better uh, option here. Does the canceled out nat 1 hit? No. No, neither. The nat 20 no. is still going to hit. It's just not going to be a critical hit. Yep. Yeah, I would say. Yeah. Well, it doesn't out. matter. This thing has adamantine plate. Because if he's that high of a level. The crit oh, doesn't true, go true, true. It's true. Yep. I'm wondering how much of that survived the acid. Ooh. Well, if Seravina used Fabricate, he yeah. would have had the raw material uh, for adamantine. It would still be there. Yeah. Because of Fabricate. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Then right. we'll let the we'll let the twenty hit. Okay. And we'll let the one do its thing. Okay. You are the driver. Got it. So that's four plus. That's real low. Uh, that is five force damage to the vehicle. That does nothing then. Uh, yeah, that's that is correct. Uh, yeah. And for his nat one, he's gonna have to make a dexterity saving throw for his vehicle. Oh, that's low. That is a seven on the die. <laughs> um, which, with that, yeah, he's uh, he's gonna spin out. He's 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 not toppling over, yeah. but he he does like have to. Essentially, he loses a turn of movement. Exactly. Cool. Yep. Where is he at? <clears throat> uh, roughly 50 feet behind. No, no, he's a, he's 100 feet behind. He's 100 feet? Yeah, because he can't. He doesn't go faster than y'all. I like to shoot an arrow. Okay. okay, from your from the back of your motorcycle. Go for it. 23 to hit. You uh, want to 26 do your to you want to do your fun little move since you're not technically moving. No, nope, nope. you he oh, is. Yeah, yeah. steady aim on, on this does. Uh, 26 to hit. Sorry. 26, are you hitting him or the vehicle? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, let me double check something real quick. Freaking giants. 25 hits. All right, our Makoto, light him up. Okay. And do. I'm going to focus on driving. I'm going to use my psychic damage. Okay. Um, 14 damage on the first hit. Okay, so give me one second. I need to write this down. Yeah, that wrist is just going to focus on driving. Normally, normally, I don't have a problem with giants, but that guy just... <laughs> something about him. Well, I'm, prob- something about him. I'm probably going to hit. So, how much damage? Um, 14. 14. The arrow... <sighs> and you see uh, his engine works as there's a pair of gloves instead of handlebars, and as he inserts his hands into them, the engine flares to life with flame. And just... (sighs) So, uh, Einar, what you doing? Uh, He's a hundred feet away from us? Yep. Alright, can I... Because he's behind us, can I still hit him with a harpoon from if he's behind us? I'm gonna say he had... Even the vehicle has half cover. Okay. Because it's not made to fire directly behind. Yeah. Really? Um, interesting. Uh, Doesn't from, have a full swivel. No. From the from the mm. depiction of mm. it in the picture, it looks like it's for the front. So I will. That'd be so cool if you could. Wait, is that the harpoon like, in the front there? Shoot yeah. into the wall. Oh, then yeah. And like I create like a trip wire or a wall. Actually. Mm. No, it's like you know, it's probably on the side. <clears throat> Quick ricochet. <laughs> <laughs> Trick shot. Uh, so, Azzy, I'm, I'm going to say three quarters cover. Three quarters cover? Yeah. Ooh, that's a, it's a plus five. That's a lot to try and. Yeah, that's a plus five for him to for try and hit him. Yeah. Um, the ranged weapon has a plus seven hit, though. Yeah, but no. If his armor class is 17, then that means I'd have to hit like a 15 or higher to. Are we going in a certain hit. order? Uh, no, if you want to fire. Can I? Because, like, with my. <clears throat> the eyes of the eagle and then um just my knowledge as an artificer uh-huh. stuff could i aim for something specifically on his vehicle that would try to kind of you can but it's a much more difficult shot i need more i'll still take the chance this. sure okay so yeah if you want to try and aim for something like that uh yeah you can you can try 
Yeah. Okay. Because it would be disadvantaged since it's yeah. over 40 feet, right? Uh, Yeah. It would be disadvantage. Well, what's the what's the? It says 120 range? is. Okay, then yeah, you're making it with disadvantage, and it's a much higher DC to try and hit a specific part. Okay. Take a chance. Eleven. Yeah, four. That's not gonna work. Yeah. Four, po- four. It's fourteen plus my. No, but it's not gonna work. <laughs> um. So I try. <laughs> yep. Um, I am just gonna try and shoot a bolt at him just to see if I can by chance hit him. Mm. Hey. Well, right. well, that'll probably hit. Uh, does a 26 hit him? Uh, him? Yeah. He has half cover, so that's a plus two, and his... Uh, yes, it does hit him. Sweet. Nice. <clears throat> Let me roll for some damage. Get him! Don't do two ones. That's not bad. It's uh, ten damage. Okay. This kind of looks over and is like, nice shot, Anna. <laughs> <laughs> he is still looking fine. Oh, yeah, oh he's still so. fine? Even with the 51 from yeah. Kana earlier. Wow. Not surprised. Big boy. He has more health than his motorcycle. <laughs> um, I don't want to fight this guy. Makoto is going to agree. Okay, yeah, she's going to. <laughs> you see her cast something. Is she casting she, what I think she's casting? I don't know. It depends on, on what you think she's casting. You see her kind of just take space in her hands and just focus and just twist her hands till they're on opposite sides of each other. And she focuses and holds it there. And she's going to use her seventh level spell slot to okay. cast reverse gravity. <laughs> Dang. She's gonna fling him into the ceiling. The spell reverses gravity in a 50 foot radius, 100 foot high cylinder centered on a point within range. Oh my So a 50 gosh. foot radius, uh, yeah, 50 foot, it's the exact distance between the two vehicles. And so you watch as it just, the, the, the motorcycle, as he's just revving and going towards y'all, just whoop, <laughs> goes straight up into the air. <laughs> Um, so he's essentially falling towards the ceiling. Uh, he is falling towards the sky. Uh, you're you're out in the open. <gasps> Bye. Uh, well, it's only a hundred foot high. Um, if an object or creature reaches the top of the area without striking anything, it remains there, oscillating slightly for the duration, which is a minute. Now, does that sucker stay there? Is that concentration? It's concentration. So if she it leaves, so what's the range on it? If she leaves with the range, does it drop? It's a it's an additional one hundred feet. But even then, the drop of the vehicle yeah. is going to hurt. And uh, yeah, so this is a very good delaying tactic. Mm-hmm. We're supposed. Y'all ever see when Makoto casts the space in between her hands? That's never a space I want to be in. <laughs> <laughs> then you better watch your words. He's right. No. <laughs> Roost likes to play a dangerous game. I live a dangerous game. <laughs> no, you are very... Decaon is just, like, looking at you all with... Part amazement, part... part? How? Yeah, how are we here? Do I notice that? Oh, absolutely. Okay. <clears throat> just I'm kind of in a similar I'm like <laughs> as I said we have an objective and we will accomplish it <laughs> and it helps when you have a little bit of lady luck on your side mm. lady luck <laughs> <laughs> sorry I didn't mean you sweetheart <laughs> <laughs> well I guess you'll never know what it is to be lucky then my <laughs> patron would disagree <laughs> whatever you say and if that's what you call a night with you. Hey, I never said anything about a night with me. You said lucky. A night is Focus <laughs> on driving, please. <laughs> yes, look, even I'm beginning to I get a little uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. That's coming from the dark one. <laughs> the dark one. Is that what we're you begin to drive ahead. Yes. yes. Approaching uh, a area filled with sand dunes. Much much of the terrain you've covered thus far has been uh, barren earth. Uh, Sand, for sure, but not uh, idyllic Saharan desert sand dunes. This is more along those lines. 
and as you begin to drive through it, wind begins blowing, and the sand begins picking up. Feels like home. <laughs> Feels hot. But yep, that's that's home. More more. And more. And more. Mm, this is beginning to become abnormal. Until you realize that continuing forward, you will be driving into a sandstorm. What do you do? <clears throat> Depends on the power of the sandstorm. Are we able to go through it? That's you can make a nature check. Yeah, I'll do can that. I, uh, I be not. the one to lead? Oops. Can I have my guys? You can. Yeah, you can try navigating. But no, um, yeah, I want to do like a nature check to see kind of like. Okay, uh, you can make one an advantage. Yeah. Let me. Okay, cool. Then I'll just make my own nature check, and that is a twenty-one. Yeah, I think you'll be fine. Oh. Sorry, I have advantage. How how long is this storm? <coughs> like wow. like how? That's great. Far will we? No idea. No idea. I was like, this is different sand than I know. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Chris said that comment kind of looks over. And it just keeps driving. <laughs> it is stronger than you'd anticipate, especially picking up out of nowhere. Mm. I'm assuming that this is magically created. <laughs> and as you continue to drive forward, you hear a roar. Why? History is check. Always what creature monster? does that? I would like oh, to oh hey, nature hey, check. remember how he oh, said no. he he wanted to have, like, a crate dragon yeah. type thing? Yeah. No, not no. yet. This isn't it? Okay. 17 on nature. 17 on nature. You would know this, having studied dragons for much of your life. You also are familiar with the natural enemy of dragons, giants. You've heard tale of a creature known as a storm giant quintessent. A storm giant that has become one with the storm itself. Even things like sandstorms. And as you begin to drive through, the quickly intensifying, your visibility is down to zero. But you do see a face in the sand. And that is where the roar comes from. Nope! What do you do? I'm going to try to speak to it. Okay. Uh, hoping it understands common. <clears throat> if not, I can translate for you. I speak giant. Okay, good. I am uh, a Goliath, yeah. after all. That's, that's very true. That is a good point. <clears throat> Creature. You call out to the giant. Yes. Uh, make a... Make a persuasion check. Five. Five. We are not charismatic. Okay, uh, I need you to make a uh, strength saving throw on behalf of your vehicle. Okay, so the vehicle's making this. Yep. Can I give him, like, yes. is this something that, like, I can see happening? Only if you can do something as a reaction. Okay. Strength. I can't do anything to give myself advantage, can I? Nope. <laughs> that was a flat 10. If I give you a flash of genius, how much can that increase it by? Five. Five. Okay. So you, as you call out, immediately a massive gust of wind and sand buffets the front. He disappears from the view of both Zara and Riss. You are within 10 feet of each other, so despite the very, very low visibility... You could still see each other, but all of a sudden, a massive gust of wind and sand completely blocks the Tormentor from you, and you are pushed back. Okay. You are driving full speed forward and moving backwards. Okay. It only lasts for a, for a moment, and <clears throat> you suddenly you lurch forward as the wind releases. Okay. <clears throat> this goes, I don't think he liked that. So, what are you guys doing? I'm going to try and call out to him again. Okay, make a persuasion check. Uh, I'm... Let me see. Natural 20. Hey. Yes. Very Beautiful. Nice. That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> okay. 
Oh All right. <clears throat> yes. <laughs> uh, okay. As you're driving forward and lurching, it's on the. You two are on the edge of it, Zara and Riss, because you continue to drive forward. Um, and so you see, as an entire area, maybe 500 feet across, just <sighs> like the eye of the storm clears, and out of the sand and wind the giant coalesces his form, stepping forward into the center as you kind of just... You're <laughs> there is sand just pouring out of the gaps in the vehicle. Are we still moving forward? Uh, unless you're going to ram... You are if you're going to ram into the giant. No. Yeah, I, that's what I wanted to know is if the storm is moving with us and that was happening. The storm is still raging around. Right. In every direction you can see. Um, you two, since you're not involved in this, you can make perception checks if you'd like. Uh, with disadvantage, so you make a flat one, Riss. Oh. Six, or er, 17? 17. With, with 17, wait, hold on. you... Wait, wait, wait. Sorry, perception. Oh, yeah, okay, sorry, just make sure. 17. 17? Okay, yeah, you, with your goggles, are kind of looking through, and you do see, uh, two other figures in the storm. One is... Having a rough time as the warship is attempting to sail through through the sandstorm. Was this oh. what was holding up the dragon? You're not sure. Interesting. Um. Uh, and you also see a uh, another figure. This one is much smaller. Uh, a single person, possibly riding on. What appears to be a flying carpet. It's a lot. That is actually making it through better, partially because they're just a smaller target. Mm. So this Less storm is huge, I assume. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Not huge in the sense of figurine sizes, but huge in the sense that this thing spans a wide distance. Five right. mile radius. Cool. So, the giant stands before you, covered in tan cloaks the same color as the sand, light uh, blue skin, and static lightning crackling between his fingers. You see, as you get closer, that a lot of the gemstones that hold his cloaks together are made of fulgurite, which is what you get when lightning turns sand to glass. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Are you a guardian of this area? No way. I understand your reason for... Not necessarily being here or engaging with us, but I'm curious. Have you been tasked by Sulani to be a specific obstacle for this race? There is no one who commands me. That is what I was possibly hoping for. In that case, I would like to ask a question. We are currently on a mission to, d to obtain information, and this race is but another obstacle in our path. One that could potentially destroy all things including you in your realm. What I'm requesting is safe passage through this piece of land. We have no quarrel with you, and we want no quarrel with you. In fact, having a potential ally as you would be, I believe, beneficial to both sides. Make a persuasion check with advantage. Well, it's 17 Same. both, uh, both times. Huh. 17. 17? Yes, please. Oh, what? Flash genius. genius. Sorry, I was like, why is everyone looking at me? <laughs> <laughs> can, you give, can you give me... Yeah, the, the, I didn't want to risk it in case if it was him perceived, seeing me yeah. you know, do that would... I'm just over here like... Change. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> what does this particular individual's 
alignment seem to be? You can make a history check if you'd like. Yeah, I'd love to, actually. That is a non-natural 20. Uh, with a non-nat 20, sorry. typically... Now, nah, this is, you know... This creature, to, yes. Well, it's not it's not necessarily regional. Um, but from your experience and the research you've done and that kind of stuff, mm-hmm. um, typically storm giants are chaotic good. It's unknown what any individual is, though. So do you do... Yeah. yeah. Okay, so that just adds a plus five? Um, or... Yep. When you were... Is he within 30 th- feet uh, of me? You, you guys probably could have easily come oh, back. I was about to yeah. ask if we could Because yeah. that would be the only the thing. You can, yeah, add plus were, five were to the, the roll. The yeah, okay. so yeah. Riss would have so we could clear yeah. the grit out of his eyes. It says yeah. ability check or saving her, so that was an he ability made, check. An ability check so. so that was plus five. Yeah, it's plus five. Okay, okay, which brings it to a 22. Yep. Which, okay. He just kind of looks at you and you can see this just <sighs> you've witnessed storms and you've witnessed those who bear the power of storms the power and lightning that crackles behind their eyes and in their fists this is so similar but also different the storm is carries a heat if you're familiar with with heat lightning mm-hmm. That is just caused by instances. That is the kind of power you see in this giant's eyes. And what does he see when he looks into mine? Truth. Be gone with you. And he dissolves. In the car? Let's go. (laughs) I never left the car! (laughs) (laughs) And you see... Stay close. It's not a clear path. But as the storm closes in, closes in around you, there is a strong wind pushing in a specific direction. Because of this, you do not need to make navigation checks to try and traverse the storm. Nice, man. I'm not that that natural clutch. twenty. Combined, if, if she had not done Flash of Genius, yep. the, it wouldn't have worked, and you would have just been... The natural 20 is the only reason he stopped to to, to bargain. I had a... F- most giants, I assume, have a bit of good in them. Very just good. a little bit. You did a very good job not mentioning Miranova or any of the dragon, too. Correct. And I also assume that giants, they enjoy strength and courage. It, it's similar to that. It's Some giants are typically evil, some are typically neutral, some are typically good. It it differs. Um, also, Ray grew up around cloud giants. Yes, yeah. which are you would know are typically chaotic neutral, yeah. I believe. They are a I bunch of merchants that. over there. Yeah. Yes, they are. <laughs> they make money. They are very neutral. Woo, that would have been Do I need to recast um, Long Strider on myself? Uh, yeah, but I, I have been assuming that you've been doing that. Um, okay. We're just eating the cross. <laughs> so with that, uh, as you be- as you continue to drive through the storm, uh, you do notice that uh, the the small figure on the flying carpet does make it through. The warship does not, and you witness as you are driving through this storm that you c- watch the silhouette of this massive flying warship (laughs) crash into the sand. You're not sure exactly how or why, but... I would also like to point out that everyone watching this race now knows that there is a massive calamity about to hit Arkham's because of what I just said. They know that that's what you said. Yeah. It's also unclear how much they could hear through the storm. Okay, good. With my... (laughs) With my eyes to the eagle, can I see anything about what brought them down or no? The like, was there too storm. much sand? Okay. <laughs> so that's what I figured. Um, so, their goals were not as pure as ours. <laughs> well. Out of curiosity. Uh, the uh, ship probably got weighed down by all the sand inside of it. Yeah, <laughs> plus, like, any mechanics that it have would, like, get clogged up. Mm-hmm. But, um, <laughs> you said that it was unlikely that people would be able to hear. Like, can... Are, is everything that we're saying coming from those giant mirrors that uh, are in the sky? 
Uh, I imagine them as more visual than <clears throat> I Yeah, they're mostly visual. Okay, okay. good. Okay. So yeah. they're not really going to hear I what I was making say. sure the necklace wasn't a microphone, yeah. <laughs> not that you're aware of. Well, not that we'd know because we're not back there, but... True. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to say that uh, with that, you make it through the rest of the storm without issue. All right, sweet. We skipped a whole you obstacle. You actually did because of that roll. You yes. were able to skip an entire obstacle. Well uh, done. <laughs> um. Hey, Amy. <laughs> That's what I got the 20 on. Nice. Very nice. nice. Happy birthday. Yup. Holy cow. All right. So you begin, you continue to drive forward. And you begin to see familiar territory. You're not there yet, but you're definitely getting close. Ahead of you. You feel like you see a mirage. The air wavers. But as you approach and get closer, it is not the air wavering. Uh Uh-oh. It is like the air has shattered. Can I do an arcana check? Go for it. Same. Mm. Yeah, I'll give you help, because I'm not going to be able to figure that out. He's already got advantage on arcana. I only got 13. I didn't mean help like (laughs) that, like guidance. guidance. Yeah. Thank you. When I say help, I'm generally going to mean 22. 22. These look like planar rifts. Ooh, that's not going to be fun to try and get through. As you see, the region ahead of you has hundreds of small, shattered, planar rifts leading to who knows where. Are they moving? And as you look ahead, you see uh, the monk hop out of one, keep running, and get caught by another. (laughs) And then appear from another one. Keep running. It's just a series of portals. You gotta figure out which set gets you to the right. You're not sure. But as you approach and prepare for the final obstacle of the race, that is where we're going to end today. No! It's only 245. Can we go more? (laughs) Thank you very much for joining us. And we'll see you next time. Bye! (laughs) (laughs) 